You know what you look like right now? Tell me. You look like Nathan Drake. Let's go. Didn't eat for two months. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got to keep that in the pod. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, if you live in Texas, which isn't a part of the Midwest, uh, as we've recently learned. Yeah, Nick just learned that. That oh, was that a was, wild Yeah, that was me. That was yeah. absolutely me. I'm the one who didn't know that Texas was part of the <laughs> South and not the Midwest. Uh, you're going to be seeing me and Daniel soon. Because me and Danny have officially been invited to Comic Palooza. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Nick's doing jazz hands. That was exciting. I just watched an episode of Queer Eye where they had a deaf guy. It was Queer <laughs> Eye for a deaf guy. And um, Queer Eye for a deaf Queer guy. Queer Eye for a deaf guy. And Whoa. whenever they clapped, they did jazz hands. Whoa. Yeah, because you can't, you can't hear the claps. No, I know. Yeah, so you get it. You That's get interesting idea. to me. That you do it's a jet. visual medium. Well, right, but clapping is also visual, yeah, is it not? It's just as it's just as yeah. in your face as jazz hands. That's interesting. Yeah, Maybe I wonder it's, why. It's probably just to be like, because they wanted to be quiet. Who, yeah. who goddamn knows? Anyways, we're going to Comic Palooza. I guess. I guess it's because the most annoying part of clapping is the sound it produces. What? What do you mean? Uproarious applause? Yeah, up- sounds up- like up- somebody who's never been clapped for. Honestly, you see. Maybe Listen, uh, at Comic Palooza. Well, you know that's what I was about to say. So, Comic Palooza, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a uh, convention in Houston, Texas, uh, home of barbecue, Yee-ho! cheating baseball teams, uh, and that's about it. I don't uh, know. So, me and Danny are going to be down in Houston, May twenty fourth <laughs> through the twenty sixth, and uh, we're doing I think forty eight panels each. Four to eight? I think we're doing 48 each. I think I think the entire weekend is just going to be us Yeah, about, we run it. Yeah, yeah we're it, essentially running yeah, it. Yeah, so they want me and Danny to do three panels each. Uh, one alone one day and one together each day. They want and us to do six yeah, each. That's, no. Yeah. They want us to do six total. Really? Six total. Huh. I do a panel a oh, day. You do a panel a day. We do a panel a day. So three panels okay. a day from the two of us. So both of us, though, are participating in six. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, sort of. Yeah. No. Why not? What do you mean? I, I'd be doing four. Uh-huh. You'd be doing four. We'd meet in the middle for two. No. What? I'm lost. If I go to Comic Palooza. Yes. And I ignore your presence. Yes. How many panels am I doing? Three. Including the ones with you. Six. Okay, so we're each doing six. Fuck, is it that? Look, we'll be, yeah, it's a lot. We'll be at Comic Palooza a lot. So come, come on down to Houston. It's going to be a boys weekend because it's just Nick and I sharing a hotel room. Oh, absolutely. Nobody else. Uh, they very made it, they made it very clear to Daniel that uh, <laughs> he's not he, wanted. He would not get his own hotel room. <laughs> they said, uh, we don't know if we'll have the budget for Danny to get a hotel room, so they should probably share one. Yeah. They said, we don't know if we'll have the budget for Danny, let alone for a hotel room. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have, I believe, okay, so each of you do one individual and one together. Uh, you both do two individual panels per day. So I think it's a three day thing. Yeah. So two I think, panels per day. Oh three God. days. That's six. Have you ever done a panel before? No. 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 Wow. Yeah. You're going to have to prepare your tight five. I, what do you, what do you mean my tight five? You need a tight five. Just come up, grab the mic. How are we doing, ladies and if gentlemen? If you go in at, con- at a Colossal Con, the mm-hmm. only two panels I've done, uh-huh. I started both panels with like 10 minutes of stand up comedy. <laughs> Oh, like a crowd work, like a yeah, crowd like, work. Like, I, I do crowd work as well. You're like, oh, look at this guy. He <laughs> yeah. looks like he Naruto runs to work. And I was like, oh, they said the thing. You say it nice. Oh, okay. My <laughs> you bad, don't my bad. bully the crowd. Just look at them like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, which one well, of you is, all right, you're the ugliest. Stand up. Everyone's going to look at you. <laughs> well, everyone in the room is going to be in cosplay. So mm-hmm. crowd work is exceptionally easy. True, I, I guess. I also did like reactions. And mm-hmm. so I made it kind of like, uh, like a, a group thing where like people could kind of chime in and also react to what's going on yeah if you come in with a tight five of stand-up material it like lights up the whole crowd what's what are you staring at um i'm just making sure that okay i'm just making sure that we're we're still picking up on audio why do i need a tight five i don't do stand-up comedy i used to do stand-up comedy well then actually how i started in my content career was stand-up comedy what better reason to do some stand-up comedy hey guys we ready to talk about naruto and then it was like yeah and then i'm like cool let's do it and then we do it they're gonna eat them alive why would they do that they're gonna eat them alive my panel 
Why would they? All right, first off, I, they want I, you to fail. I have to fill three panels, right? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna do something about Naruto, something about Hunter Hunter, and then something about like like being a successful YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like here's how to succeed as a YouTuber in 2024, yeah. right? Like talk about like you know thumbnail, title, SEO, like finding your voice. Those. Kinds I'm gonna of do one about how to be a successful YouTuber in 2011. Yeah, which is like <laughs> you need first off comb over, second yeah. off handheld camcorder, third <laughs> off there needs to be a slur in yeah, your I name. Looking at you, Ryan Higa. Yeah. That's how you get it, baby. That's clout. That's how you get it. Yeah. Yeah. Camcorder, spastic editing, mm -hmm. blackface. But, that's yeah. how you do it in that's 2011. That's how you become the Canadian president, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. If Alex Trudeau can do it, so can I. Yeah. I, it's going to be a lot of fun, though. Yeah, it'll I be really know. fun. So you're nervous about filling. You're like, oh, I'm it's gonna, weird. You're just gonna react to three episodes of anime. I know. I gotta pick what anime, and also I gotta see if they're like. Just do Hasbun Hotel. I've reacted to that. Yes, yes. Well, that's what I got. That's what I'm thinking too. Is didn't is, they just do a new season or something? No, it just came out. Yeah, whatever. It just started. Oh no, to it's exist. based off a thingy, right? It's based off like a. It's based off like a thing from the internet, right? Hasbun Hotel. Like. I guess. Kind of, right? Kind of. They did a pilot, a YouTube pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, like, really popular. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then Amazon, like, picked it up. Gotcha. And then there's a second show called Hell of a Boss. Did that's they only animate on four YouTube. episodes, and then they were like, we're going to wait until everyone stops talking about it, and then we'll pick up the other four episodes? Or, no, they didn't You're right. I didn't, I didn't watch Invincible. I, I forgot about I, it. I, there are, like, three like three of the next episodes are out, and I haven't seen a singular one of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, no, they will. Hell of a Boss comes out every like three months because it's like self-made YouTube show. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So it's like, that's just a YouTube series. Hell of a ball. Is it? But it connects. Is it furries? Yeah, 100%. Okay, it like, is. Like, objectively furry. Okay. There are furry characters in it. Okay. Uh, in Hell of a Boss, not in Has Been Hotel. All right. If the, if, the, if the furry bar, let's say the furry baseline is B-Stars, right? Right. And let's say, so, it, like, this is a plus 10, minus 10 gradient. Yeah. So it's like B-Stars is zero on the furry scale. Where's Hasbun Hotel? Oh, Hasbun Hotel is, like, minus 10. It's like Tumblr energy as hell. Okay. But there's no furries in it. Oh, but hell of a boss. Hell of a boss is B-Stars minus 5. Well, minus yeah. less furry than B-Stars? Less furry. Because B-Stars, they're all animals. Oh, yeah, but, okay. There's feel... one animal character in hell of a boss. Gotcha. But she is engaging in a lot of the episodes and a lot of romance stuff. Okay. Yeah. See, but that's my, because I feel like because they're actually animals and B-Stars, yeah. it's less furry. It's that's so why I, furry. That's why, I use it as a, that's why I use it as a baseline. <laughs> what is very furry to you then? What's a B-Stars plus 10? Usually like a, like a wolf with titties. Like a, like, right. a, like, a two, like a two foot wolf with titties and a big bushy tail. I got, I got news for you about B-Stars. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's all that. They don't have titties. What? Did they? Did they Nick have did not watch Beastars. I watched confirmed. the first eight episodes that I got uncomfortable. Episode two, Haru's like borderline naked. But she's naked. a rabbit. Yeah. It's with different. With tits, huge tits. It's different. Than a wolf? Nah, no, it's not. Did you not get to the wolf with tits? There's a love triangle. What is her name? Damn it. Oh, the one Juno. who likes Juno. Yeah. The one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, I want this older wolf. I got his mug. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. No, the, more, the more I'm thinking about it, it is definitely, it's very coded. It's not, it's just furry, it's just a furry show. So if you want to see, it's Nick, not even if coded. you want to see Danny, if you want to see, oh, you know what I should do? What I should, should do, do your bit and you should do mine. Yeah, I should do, like, I, I should just yap about Naruto. Absolutely, yeah. and I'll do 45 tight minutes on, like, has -been Hotel. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, like, show up, huge dick energy. Oh, yeah. Massive dick energy, I'll wear your tank top. I'll come Beer, out where, barbecue, and freedom. I'll United wear, We Grill, baby. Six dollars from Walmart. Greatest t-shirt I own. I'll wear your blue light glasses, and I'll be like, I'm going to tell you guys about the hidden Uchiha member, Shukuzu. You know what's so funny? Damn. I got invited to the Smosh event Friday, yeah. uh, and I completely forgot I got invited to it. Yeah. So I, like... I we was, played golf instead. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh, fuck. I have a bunch of shit going on. Like, I need to, like... Uh -huh. I was like, and then just the whole day went haywire. And so I was like, I my, like, maybe I just tell Danny to go as me. And I was like... What are they gonna do? ID him at the door? Like yeah. probably I had to sign an NDA. I know where Smosh headquarters is now. You'll never get it out of me. <laughs> uh, but I had to sign an NDA to like make sure I didn't tell anybody where like yeah. their their pod their their like place was. Um, and I almost sent you because I was like, I can't make it. I just send Danny. Yeah. And I was like, go, I was gonna tell you to go rub fucking elbows with Ian and Anthony, who are apparently big anime guys. If I went disguising myself as you. You could absolutely get away with playing me for an afternoon. I, I'd be so much more confident if oh, yeah. I went in knowing that all the risk was on your, like, on your back. Absolutely. 
I'd just be like, hi, I'm Nick, I guess. <laughs> I was so I did uh, so I went to TwitchCon and yeah. this was like basically after I had stopped uh, doing you've Twitch. Told us, yeah, uh, yeah. And I was just running around because I was like, if I get banned from Twitch, I don't give a shit. Like yeah. so I was like, yeah, yeah. I had my name on everything. I was a partner, so I'd get into the partner like um like areas, all that. And I had a guy with me who was cosplaying, basically. He's tall. Uh he was cosplaying as um Dr. Disrespect. Yeah. And so people are running around with like, Doc, Doc, we love you so much. Cause the guy kind of looks like him. Yeah. He's like, Doc, we love you so much. People are taking photos. And so Nick Merckx and Tim the Tap Man are up signing. And I'm like, I I'm like, I'm like, I gotta get Dr. Disrespect over to Tim, like all these guys. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I like it's a it's a whole prank. He's about to get swarmed. I'm like, get working my way up to like higher level associates until right. eventually. <laughs> the leader, the, the the head of the con is like, Dr. Disrespect can't be here. Comes up to me, he's like, he, he, like he, he's banned, he can't Damn. be here, all this. And she sees him, she's like, oh, that's not Doc, get the fuck out of here. And I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so I just left and I gave my badge to some kid who was walking around, like he was like, mm -hmm. he, it was like he was on Twitch, but he didn't have a partner badge. Yeah. So I was like, here, go hang out with the big Twitch star. So I just fucking threw it at him. I might be banned from Twitch. I genuinely don't know. That's or care. so funny. Yeah. I love that someone came up and they were like, he can't be here. This is a nightmare. Dude. They got their snipers posted. Dude, they were literally like, like Doc can't be here. And I was like, shut Whoa. the fuck up. That's so funny. <laughs> That's like, we're talking about a streaming service. <laughs> yeah, like, this is a con. Doc, he's he's banned. I don't even know what know. he's banned for. Like, I think he was banned I, because- I know nothing about him, yeah. honestly. I see like clips of him every now and then. He's like, yeah, Call of Duty kind of sucks. And I'm like- Ooh, controversial Ooh, guy. Yeah, got like, him. <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, TikTok had like a creator summit recently. And that was and like. We didn't get invited. We didn't get invited. I wouldn't have gone regardless. Fair. But it was like one of those things where I'm just like, I don't know. We like, we should not all. I don't know. I hate whenever they try to pull away. Or, or I guess whenever they try to throw a blanket on top of the fact that we are all just like dumb people in their 30s and or teens yelling into a phone. Like I hate when they're like, oh, come to our creator summit and be a professional. You hate when they try to make like TikTok seem like a yeah. you know, sophisticated place where it's yeah. not just like me getting thirst trap edits of Gojo. I like, know, yeah. yeah. Well, cause it's like, there's too many TikTokers who like kind of take themselves way too, too seriously. Way too seriously, yeah. Way too seriously. And they like blow up on TikTok about like, you know, like actors. Like I remember Billie Eilish got into some heat while you were gone this oh, month. Oh, because she was like, oh, there's all these TikTokers yeah. at, like, at like the VMAs. And, and it's like, yeah, so, that is weird. I was so on Billie Eilish's side. I was like, <laughs> yeah. they shouldn't be there. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> like, like all these TikTokers like freaked out and they're like, we work hard. We deserve to like, get there. No, you don't, Bryce Hall. You steal other people's <laughs> content and you're hot. Shut the fuck I know. up. I was like, I like, that is also my job. And I acknowledge I do not work hard enough to deserve to be at the VMAs yeah. like, I, like, in, in touching distance of Billie Eilish. The majority of the one percenter tiktokers are also the least talented people on the app like yeah. it's like oh like who's the guy uh cobby cobby lane or whatever his name is his <laughs> no entire idea. job is to just be like he like plays a clip and then he's like here's the construction hat and he's like the least talented dude <laughs> yeah. on the fucking platform yeah. and it's like all of these people it's like i have so many i have so many friends whose entire fucking job is plays a clip and then they're in like a construction vest and a helmet and they're like I know. And they go to the fucking Oscars. Yeah. And like the least <laughs> yeah. talented people are yeah. the people that TikTok's like, wow, look at this guy. He owns three construction vests. I know. Like it's the guy like who opens the door. He's like, it's time to go skate today. And then it just plays clips of like people like falling at the skate park. And he's like, never mind. And he goes back in and it's like, if I could just yeah. make that content. And those are the famous TikTokers. It's either you're hot or you steal other people's content or you just are a clip show. Yeah. And those are the famous TikTokers. So yeah, no fucking shit. We shouldn't be invited to things. I know. It's just like, I, you know, I'm busy. I like, and it is tough making content and constantly coming up with stuff. But like, at no point am I ever just like, yeah, you know, it goes like, like neuroscientist, coal miner, mm -hmm. TikTok influencer. Yeah. Yeah, I was, and it's so funny because that's such a discourse that happens. People are like, you don't understand how hard this job is. And I was like, I do. It's tough. It's tough to be creative. Uh, not harder than 99% of jobs. I will say there was like he about like Twitch streamers. Mm -hmm. I forget who it was. Twitch I'd, streaming is hard. I'd never seen that guy before in my life. Twitch streaming is genuinely so, unbelievably difficult. Like, live streaming is fucking hard. <laughs> There's streaming. a reason neither of us do it. <laughs> it sucks. Live streaming is so hard if you're doing it like actually like 
professionally, like when you're like an eight hour a day, like I can't imagine. Streaming I for eight hours imagine. a day, I would rather, I'd rather go back into the workforce than stream eight hours a day. I would <laughs> I, rather. I'd 100% rather be working at like my local bakery yeah. like I used to yeah. than I, stream eight hours there a is, day. I would do anything but stream eight hours yeah. a day. It's awful. You know what the thing is that people like don't realize? There's this huge discourse about it. I Again, I don't know what the, like, the streamer does. Uh -huh. He could be a douchebag. Like, he could suck. Uh -huh. Who knows? But, like, he was like, yeah, like, streaming eight hours a day is, like, harder than your average nine to five was around the discourse. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know if I'm, like, ready to die on either hill. Mm -hmm. But I will say what's funny about it is, like, so many people are like, this dude's so out of touch. This dude sucks. Yeah. The people who are saying that, here's what you can do to, like, really determine whether or not he's out of touch. Try streaming for eight hours. Just stream once for eight hours. Yeah. It's something anyone can do. Mm. Whereas that guy can't just like go up to Starbucks and be like, hey, can I just like work here spontaneously for a day and yeah. see what it's like? Like that's the thing is it's about, I think the the way that you fall onto it is like how much effort are you putting into your stream? How much effort are you putting into nine to five? Like that's if you're like thing. actually, like, if you just play video games for eight hours and don't look at your chat, like it's yeah. gonna be super easy. But if you're trying to make like events, you're trying to do reactions, you're trying to like yeah. talk to your chat, like all of this going on for eight hours is exhausting. That's the thing. It's like when I worked at a bakery, like, I would have like eight and 10 hour shifts, like frequently, like, you know, five days a week, like a job. Mm -hmm. And how did I, I not know you worked at a bakery? It was like when I was in college it and it's so much sense. I worked in a bakery. I worked at a Tommy Hilfiger. I could see you. Oh, that I could absolutely see. But I could see you working at a bakery and like a girl coming up. She's like, I don't know what to get. And you're like, you look like a cheddar bagel girl. And then you slap <laughs> her butt and you go grab her one. Like I could see you just being the zestiest little bread boy. <laughs> I just like am that person at mm. the bakery and then like the second I step out there I'm like oh fuck I need to sing <laughs> <laughs> these fucking bread bitches <laughs> but um no I like when I would work at the bakery it's the thing about like your average minimum wage nine to five like not talking about like being a scientist mm -hmm. or like a doctor or something well, let me let me tell you right now 90% of being a scientist is very fucking easy. <laughs> well, that's like, <laughs> it, is, I, it is just assays. When I was working my nine to five jobs, you can like mentally check out so frequently. Oh yeah. The amount of blood people ingested in their bagels because mm -hmm. I was just fucking dicing myself accidentally. <laughs> Was so this frequent. is not the part where we tell everybody where Danny fucking worked at. You were just how often were you just Wendy chopping your fingers I off? I have been so bad at every job I've ever had, yeah. except kind of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, but like you don't want us in the workforce. That's the takeaway. Yeah, message. hundred percent. This is the only thing I've ever almost been good at. Yep. But the amount of times I've just like fucked up a bagel and like should have been fired, and you just don't get fired. You mm -hmm. just like can mentally check out when you're too tired oh, yeah. and just barely do the job and you still get to have the job yeah. with a lot of minimum wage Being jobs. anything less than 100% on streams stressed me the fuck out. That's what I mean. It's like, but when you're streaming, you have like... There is the pressure of being you're, you're, all there. Yeah, you're yeah, performing. Yeah. You're, it's exactly that. Uh, so intense. yeah, come see us at Comic Palooza. No idea how we got here. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see me and Danny live, uh, it's going to be, oh God, a lot. A lot of, it's going to be nine total panels between the two of us. Uh, Danny will be reacting things. I'll be talking about anime and the such. And then we'll be doing three panels together. One of them, which will be a live broadcast. I don't know what the other two are going to be. I don't, I don't, we could react to something together. We we'll could, just chat. It'll be so easy to talk for an that's hour. Like, we'll just, we'll literally just chat. We'll come with games. We'll do a Q and A. That works. Yeah. Right, a tight, a tight hour Q and A. Yeah. Uh, but outside of that, a lot happened this week. Uh, like actually not a lot happened this week, but uh, we do have two episodes. Of Soul <laughs> if Leveling. not a lot happened, you don't have to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, listen, we're trying to get the, we're going to get hype momentum going. Yeah. Uh, a lot happened. Two episodes of Soul Leveling to talk about because Danny had to get his boogers expanded last week. Uh, Danny had to... I had a booger transplant. Yeah, Danny had to get balloons shoved in his yeah. nose and then they just like, uh, like a like a clown just pumped him up until he heard cracking. Yeah, they... Uh, so yeah, they put balloons in my nose and then uh, like inflated the balloons because my sinuses were fucked. And I'm like looking at the dude who has like the, the gizmo in me mm -hmm. and I like just feel this immense pressure and you hear like snap, crackle and pop like cereal. And I'm like all drugged up on Valium. Naturally. And he's like, he's like, yep. Got some great texts from Danny post-op. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yep. Yeah. Or he was like, you hear that? And I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yeah, that's uh, that that's your bones expanding. And I'm like, 
What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot. Yeah. And I never learned. I don't know what, what that was. So are you better now? Like, are you... I feel better. I feel a little better. What sucks is after the operation. Like, I got to rest a week. So, like, my throat felt better, but uh-huh. I was also, like, congested as a result of healing. Yeah. And this past week, I had to grind so hard on work. Mm-hmm. So we're behind on our Patreon here. Yes. So we have to double up on Patreon. It's the end of the month, so I have to do my Patreon. I have, like, two sponsored videos, one from Street Fighter, one from Solo Leveling. Mm-hmm. That I like have to get done this week. Yeah. So like. Oh, by the way, I still have that Street Fighter. Um. Yeah, from Jose. Collector's edition. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna claim it. Yeah, it's yours. I'm just gonna take it. Play Street Fighter. It's awesome. I I love that game. I have it. I don't have a PS5, but I have have the game. Yeah. Yeah. You have the collector's edition of the game. Of of the game, so I might as well (laughs) play it. Um. But uh. So I just had all this work. I like had to get done. Uh. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna lay low. Like next week like immediately after this i'm gonna take like the next three days mm-hmm. to actually recoup my voice because then we went out friday i had D for the first time in my life last until night 3 a.m i was up until 3 a.m with my fucking half elf ranger mm-hmm. and like yeah, nine Danny, people Danny decided to really break out of the norm and played a half elf ranger as a white man Ooh. Rangers are cool. Don't tell me you also put points into charisma so you could talk your way out of things no i didn't but i wish i did yeah. we, we played with like Eight people, I think, and one uh, DM. So it was a lot of people. And mm-hmm. I, me being like the person who like waits on the plane for everybody to exit the plane before I do. Oh, yeah, I love I, that. I like waited for everyone else to choose their class. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't taking up anyone's spot. You were like, oh, because you, so nobody else went Ranger. Yeah, nobody else. Yeah, it was like everyone else wanted to have a fun playthrough. Everyone else wanted to like be creative. I like Rangers. They're cool. Yeah. They're cool because you have to work to be creative it's so easy to be a ranger who does nothing but i'm like the moment i'm met like when they meet me in like the fucking tavern like mm-hmm. very classic D setup we all meet in this tavern i'm just like going to town mudding myself up camouflaging into the booth yeah. like i'm PETA from the hunger games mm-hmm. so you know you make it work who for some reason got like an entire paint kit and was like hey, yeah. how's the best way to hide yeah. paint now <laughs> yeah katniss just steps on his face like, like please please please, please. Oh, this sucks. God, this sucks. I was team, so fucking team Gale to the day I die. Yeah. Uh, so we have a couple of games that we're going to play today. Uh, one we want to talk since it is week 11 out of 12 of this season, which means that next week is going to be the last week of winter 2024, which means spring is on the way. And spring is an absolutely an uh, absolutely massive anime season. So we're going to be talking is about. It? Oh, my God. Yeah. There's so much coming down the pipe. We'll talk about it. We'll, yeah. we'll get there. Um, so me and Danny are going to go through all of the spring 2024 releases, look at the synopsis, look at the pictures, say whether or not we're going to binge it, check it out, or skip it. Well, we can't binge them if they're coming well, out. Well, I know. But like we're like, oh, it's like like three camps. So like, I'm just saying like, oh, that's not one of the things we're going to say. Neither agreed nor disagree. Strongly disagree. Is well, that what you want from me? Binge it. Oh, in this context, almost implies we're not going to watch it. Until at least, yeah, at least for like six in. months. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to talk. We have a. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, so then we have another game that is guess the mangaka by their health condition. So we have quotes <laughs> a from. Tasteful yeah, yeah, tasteful. Yeah. <laughs> we're really uh, we're really hammering home this whole Akira Toriyama is no longer with us. It's, bit. A, it's a it's a PSA. It's showing <clears throat> how horrible the mangaka conditions are. Oh, yeah. Because they, all, it wasn't hard to find these quotes, apparently. Co- contribute funds to your local mangaka. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to talk about soul leveling. Ooh. I've seen some mashal. We've got a little flashback. Speaking I- of uh, our PSA and mm-hmm. contribute to your local mangaka, uh, I think the seven C's be calling me because... Oh, we're doing Sea of Thieves? No. God damn it. We can. We could. Fucking That'd be fun. love that game. Um, but the high C's be calling because uh, JJK season two Blu-ray... Like, oh. scenes have leaked, mm-hmm. and they're crazy. Mm-hmm. They add a bunch of scenes. They completely rework the Are you Maharaga. you pirate the, the, the Blu-ray? Obviously not, FBI. I, I, I wouldn't <laughs> steal a car. Mm-hmm. But I made a stance a while ago because um, fucking MAPPA yes. has been utterly horrible to uh, its workers. Yeah. So... All I'm saying is it wouldn't be morally corrupt for people to pirate JJK season two. Blu-ray, Blu-ray. because my God, the Maharaga versus Ukuna fight looks insane. It looks crazy. You watched it? Yes. It looks nuts. The only thing I don't like, mm-hmm. they like 
changed Maharaga's look to be more consistent with the rest of the show. So he has she, more but, detail. What? She. she, whatever. She has more detail, mm -hmm. uh, but isn't glowing. Like before she was like sheet white and kind of glowing. Uh -huh. And it looked really cool. And now if you look, she looks like dimmer and looks like she fits into the show a little more. Interesting. And has more detail. Mm -hmm. And I Yeah, when she comes out sometimes it's like literally like like a glowing angel. Yeah. yeah. Which was super cool. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of people, including myself, thought that like that episode looking different from every other episode was mm -hmm. a stylistic choice. Kind of kind of like how, well it wasn't, clearly, because they changed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was you're rushed. You're not following. No, 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 no. I understand what you're saying, but it was rushed. <laughs> well, so it looked stylistically different. Like in the way that Naruto versus Sasuke, the first fight. Yeah, when he like punches the pupils out yeah, of Sasuke's Yeah, when he hits face. the pupils out of him, yeah. looks different from the rest of the show. Like mm. it's a different art style. Yeah. I thought they were doing that for the Maharaga fight. Because everything looks like a little not like every other episode. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, that's cool. They're letting this director like really experiment but no it just was unfinished yeah and so they're that's why finishing they, well it. when it initially came out they were like oh mm -hmm. like on twitter it came out that like this was only like 60 percent of what mm -hmm. like the director wanted and now we're seeing that it truly yeah. was and everyone everyone got on our dick about that they yeah. were like oh you don't know like they had plenty of time it was still gorgeous and i was like i'm not saying it wasn't gorgeous yeah. i'm saying that like the director openly admitted the fact that like they were rushed and so he only was able to do like two-thirds of the shit he wanted to do mm -hmm. and so like now with the blu-ray coming out i've i've seen the fight and like it's like i'm gonna i'm gonna acquire the blu-ray somehow uh, -huh. uh and like, I've only seen it, like, you know, through, yeah. like, a TikTok of a TikTok, right? Yeah. But it looks insane. It looks crazy. It looks they, all time. They add a ton of stuff, ton which is crazy. I wonder how long the episode's going to be. Like, I wonder yeah. how much added Probably minutes. three, four minutes, I would say. That's so sick. Yeah. Also, um, for those who uh, don't want to uh, pirate, mm -hmm. and for those who don't want me endorsing piracy, mm -hmm. eBay is also an ethical option. If you just buy stuff, it's like buying fur clothing, from goodwill is ethical because it was already purchased by someone like you're not supporting the fur industry nice. so but yeah so buying uh me and dorothy acquired many fur coats secondhand in europe so nice. there yes. we go yeah. yeah like buying things secondhand is an ethical way of obtaining things because it's not supporting so all these thing. blood diamonds i own because i got them on ebay were good exactly oh, exactly fuck yeah yeah i mean sure i was the person who killed the people unless their goods were you know meant to be donated to ebay but <laughs> and, then you, and then you bought it on ebay absolutely <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm ethical i'm not gonna steal will i murder absolutely but will i Fair. steal so yeah i'll probably pick it up on ebay just to have the physical blu-ray i don't even know how to pirate anime anymore yeah. I, don't, I don't even know how, how I don't even know how to, I don't know how to pirate Blu-ray. I don't kiss anime question mark. Is that even a thing anymore? I don't know. I, I just started making money and then I just like got Crunchyroll and now and then just start paying for and, things. And everything's yeah. on fucking Crunchyroll. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go, go anime. The, the Zoro something was another one. Yeah. yeah. Zoro is Zor something. What Zoro is that? anime. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. I, there was, there was, there were sites. I, I'm sure I could find them. Uh, anyways. So what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with our game? Do you want to start with solo leveling? It's just solo leveling okay. because this was so fucking cool it was a great episode so we also didn't talk about episode 10 yeah but episode 10 wasn't nearly as good as episode 11 no uh my notes for episode 10 are love a power up montage montage um, montage yeah, montage yeah absolutely <laughs> my biggest my literal biggest note from episode 10 is because it's a lot of them talking about uh jun he or jun Junho, Junho uh, buying all the C rank gates. It's like them, you know, like going through C rank gates and like Sung Woo and Junho, uh, Junho are the only people like going in. And they kept, uh, mind you, this is a Manwa, which means it's from Korea. The Korean one is not worth dick. It is, it's it's one Korean won is about uh, 1300, wait, no, one dollar is about 1300 Korean, Korean won. So it's Korean like, wands. I'm fucking, leave me alone. <laughs> um, and so like in things like Squid Games and all of that, when they're offered like, billions mm -hmm. of dollars it's like millions of dollars but it's like the number has to be astronomically high so they haven't changed any of the numbers so it's like oh um uh, uh sung woo was offered yeah. the building to yunjin construction yeah. and it's worth like 30 billion yeah. they never say 30 billion won or 30 billion yen <laughs> so because so they kept everything the same it's like 10x yeah because yen's like one to 130 usd yeah. so it's about 10 times stronger than the won so it's like everybody's just getting fucking 
bank yeah, now. Like everyone's just like, yeah, I got my new Mercedes. Only thirteen go bullion dollars. Yeah, like, and you're just like, fucking, what's going on? What is like, what is inflation looking like nowadays? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Good note. I really have like no notes about episode ten. Mm-hmm. And all of my hype got directly funneled into episode eleven. Yes. It's so sad. So how far have you read into the manhwa? How, did you? Did oh, you make? I, it, I, you didn't make the job. The change first quest. volume is just like the I think he puzzle. makes it to the lichens like by the end of the no, first it's volume it's just the puzzle really yeah it's just a puzzle no, and then he's right, like yeah. in the hospital mm-hmm. and then he's like I'm gonna get so much Ooh, pussy level a boy for me yeah, yeah. um so like I, you know it's not even relevant for me to talk about the manhwa gotcha um but I will say speaking of JJK mm-hmm. which we were a bit ago the director of the Chozo Yuji fight was the one who directed this, either the director or the animator. That makes sense. We all know all of my breaking news mm-hmm. is like uh, there, 30% there's a accurate. sprinkle of, you're going to have to do some research on your own, <laughs> yeah, but I will send you in the correct direction. Never take what I say did we, just at face value. Did we ever confirm as to whether or not Cardi B's a rapist? <laughs> did, we ever, did we ever confirm? You know think. what's funny? We kind of confirmed I was right about that, but uh, I was dead wrong about the bluey thing. Mm. Which, if I were to be wrong and right about anything... I feel like it was the bluey one we should have missed on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the bluey one was a bit. It was a prank on yeah. me, apparently. It was a prank on the one podcast below us on the anime rankings, just <laughs> yeah. waiting for us to fucking slip up. <laughs> Papa Bluey's not a cuck. There's an hour and a half episode about it. Um, but, uh, what's it called? Yeah, research Cardi B if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi B, PP Hutch, question mark. But, um... Yeah, the so the director or animation director or whatever, or the fucking guy who got tangerines for the crew yeah. f- from the Chozo Yuji uh-huh. fight uh, did this one. Yeah, which makes a lot of sense because this was, my final note was, this is the episode that convinced me. Yeah. Like, I am a big Soul Leveling fan, uh, and then you brought up some very good points that like, oh, you just liked it because it looks the same as it looks in the anime, which it does. And I really enjoy Soul Leveling, and I think the weakest part of Soul Leveling is until you get to the job change quest. Like, him being like, oh, time to level, and then there's, like, once you start to get timelines of, like, Jun Ho, Jun, is it Jun Ho? I think it's Jun Ho. I it's, never I'm know. awful at Korean names. I, I never say the protagonist's name, because I think I'm wrong. Sung Woo. Because it, it sounds... Jin Woo? Jin Woo Sung. Fuck, Jin Woo Sung. There we yeah. go. Yeah. I keep thinking it's Sung Won or no. Sung Woo. Yeah. Because it sounds like Sun Wukong. Yeah. Shin Wusung. Fuck. Yeah. Korean names are they're not hard. They're not just, hard at all. Yeah, they're I'm very easy. Yeah. I just like, it's it's just his because mm-hmm. of the Sun Wukong thing. Yeah. Um. They also, a lot of Korean names that I know, like, share a lot of, like. Yes. There's a lot of, What do of you like, call that? Like chunks, like oh, like it last names. It's very. This is a like lot a of bunch, syllables. There's like a yeah. very like a lot of very common last names yeah. that like almost everybody shares. Yeah, like there's a lot of park, a yeah. lot of sun. Yeah. Um. So it, a lot of uh, names that I know are like a combination of those, which mm-hmm. makes it tough to delineate. Yeah. It'd be like if. I knew you, Nick Connor, and I also knew like Connor Johnson, and I also knew John Connor Nicholson. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh god, I gotta make sure all this is fucking in order. Yeah, it's tough. So yeah. this is the episode that convinced me because like the like post job change quest is when the universe begins to expand in the manhwa. Mm. But what they've done with the anime thus far is that they're already expanding the, like the universe, right? Yeah. So we're already seeing all these other guilds moving. We're already seeing the third expedition to uh, Jeju Island, yeah. which you don't ever see like in the manhwa. Like this is like the entirety of the job change quest when it's happening in the manhwa is just a one on one with uh, with with Sun Wu, Jung, with somebody. Just say MC. I'm going to say MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I just I can't get it today. And so it's like a one-on-one. I'll it, look it up. How it's about with that? him and Igris the Blood Red. And it's a really good fight in the manhwa. It's probably like it's all it's established that it's his toughest fight. But kind of like in the same vein that JJK decided to make Maharaga versus Sukuna like longer and more drawn out with like more like combat brought in like in between the scenes that are depicted in the manhwa. Like, this did a very good job of stretching the fight out in yeah. a way that didn't feel like they were, like, trying to take the pacing out of it. Yeah. And when they both drop their, like, when they both drop their weapons and they just decide to duke it out, that was incredible. My thing, though, now I'm in my head. Jin Woo, fuck. Jin, my, Woo. Jin Woo's favorite move. And he does it against every single boss he's weaker than. Can you guess? He's done it against 
Every, just stab him in the eye? Stab him in the goddamn eye. <laughs> yeah. Every time. Yeah. And it's I'm a like, good place to stab. It's a great place to stab. Yeah. Super hard to guard. But fuck. Yeah. I, I have a thing with eyes. And I'm like, if anybody was Oh, you ever, don't like it. Dude, I... Like, if one, I was ever being tortured, I would give up all the information immediately. Like, yeah. I, if I was an American soldier and, like, ISIS grabbed me, I'd be like, I'm on your side now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd be like, Yay! Team <laughs> yeah. like, So immediately. Um, but, like, uh, definitely the quickest way to get me squeal is get anywhere near my eyes. Yeah. The idea of even, like, losing an eye freaks me the fuck out. So just, like, I hate seeing things get stabbed in the eye because I'm like, yeah yeah so it's like every single time it's just stab it stab it like it's cerberus cerberus he just stabs in the eye like six times I'm yeah like, chill out i like how fucking like sloppy and goopy this eye stab was mm -hmm. like he stabs the knight in the eye and it just like splurts all out like it keeps splurting out yeah. and i'm like whoa and then he tackles him and then he stabs him in the neck yeah and it's all like all over the the night, like mm -hmm. all the bloods all over the night. And it the fight goes from being like stereotypical anime, like JJK on par, like hand to hand. Yeah. To this like grisly, desperate fight. Yeah. Where he's just trying to like get him between the armor slits. I really want to hear what the American voice actor does with this episode because yeah. the Japanese voice actor fucking killed it. Yeah. He's like, not deep enough. And yeah. then you see all the fatal strikes pop up and he uses like all of his yeah. like like all of his fatal strikes to try and punch through. And that's incredible. I also love that they did the thing where they do an animation sometimes where they like, it like it cuts all the texture out and they just become like white stringy lines. Just a doodle. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Just unravels. Yeah, it's like, I think they do it MHA a lot. It's like whatever, like a, like a strong punch is about to uh -huh. land. It's like, they go like straight to doodles just to like convince like to convey the power yeah. of it all and i thought that was awesome i'm really excited to see what the english like voice actor does though because yeah. after seeing him versus the like the squad killer group yeah like i just i want to hear what that man i does. know i'm like so upset that like dubs don't come out alongside sub it's not that far it's behind weeks, yeah which is like pretty good for like i feel like modern day anime i usually feel like it's yeah. six weeks or so behind so Pretty Alex bad for Lee. a modern day anime podcast, though. What do you mean? Like that we have to wait. Oh, yeah. Like we have to watch the sub to be up to date. So the guy, the voice actor for uh, uh, Jinwoo is a guy by the name of Alex Lee. Wait. I also looked that up because I thought it was Jonah Scott for a bit. Wait, no, this is I don't know if this is I don't think this is English. Oh, wait, no, he was born in L.A. So, yeah, no, um, he was born in Vietnam so he is, he has a crazy list of characters, actually. I think he is a voice actor and yeah, he's Eddie too. Wow. Yeah, so he is Jin Woo Sung, Whoa. he's Thorfinn. Um, he's Ao uh, Mibobi, who is from Classroom of the Elite. He's Dude, the main character of Classroom of the Elite. What crazy range. Yo, yeah. he's Luke in Street Fighter. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but Whoa. I believe you. He's like the main character of Street Fighter 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he is, he's Thorfinn. That's wild. I he did not realize also, that. Also, if they ever make a solo leveling live action, mm -hmm. this dude should have it. Oh, yeah. There's this photo of him holding the knife. Mm -hmm. Just looks like. Uh, the guy. Like, it yeah, looks, looks like, like Jin Woo. Yeah, yeah, good call. Call him the guy. The guy, Jin Woo. <laughs> I got it now. I'm locked in. Also, fucking, um, who does he play in this? Deku is in this also. Deku is in what? In solo leveling. Deku's in, oh, like Deku's American dub, voice yeah. actor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is... I don't know who he plays. Maybe he's the weird... I don't know. I don't know any of the characters, honestly. He's very famous. Deku's uh, English VA is super famous. He's also Luck in uh, Black uh, Black Clover. Who I don't even know that. Who is Alex Lee? Uh, no, Deku. Got you. Oh, so you're just you're just off on a tangent. Yeah, now. I'm just all over the place. Cool. But I thought um, it, was, it was a fucking incredible episode. Great episode. I love the night putting his sword down mm -hmm. and then taking it to fists. Yeah. I love a knight. Who, Chivalry, baby. I love a knight who punches. Oh, yeah. Like, put the put the sword down. Mm -hmm. All my favorite four honor executions are when they just, like, throw the sword down mm -hmm. and just start boxing a dude. My favorite four honor execution is the really big guy with a staff, and then he kills you by bumping his belly off you. The big guy with the staff. And the, the, Nick's the over guy. here saying he's so good at four honor. The Does he know the Shigoki? The, the, the Japanese guy with the oh, big yeah. old... Yeah, the Shigoki. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, yeah. I, he just, he just, like, sometimes wow. he's got that grab that snaps you yeah. it's super annoying yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah he's he's fucking impossible to go against I hate yeah, fighting him. this episode was so yeah he has armor yeah uh, this episode was so sick uh the thing i hate about watching the show uh -huh. is that it makes me want to play a video game instead of watching the show gotcha like when he beat egress mm -hmm. 
and got a bunch of loot, I was like, this episode better end right now because I have to play Dragon's Dogma. Mm. Like, I just have to. Like, I can't be watching another man get loot for killing a boss. And this has always been your complaint with video game-based anime. Yeah, where you're why like, wouldn't I just play a video it's game? It's like watching somebody else play an MMORPG, and you're yeah. like, I'm fucking bored out of my skull here. Yeah, it is interesting because, so Solo Leveling has a video game coming out called Solo Leveling Arise. Oh, yeah. That I was paid to talk about and praise. Mm -hmm. However, I will say right now- Does that, does that extend to this podcast, or is this safe No, zone? it doesn't safe extend zone. to this podcast. Yes. Nice. That's why I'm saying this. That's I why we're talking about it right now without yeah. being paid. I wouldn't bring it up if it extended mm -hmm. because I'd be like, fuck that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like no chance. Um, it does genuinely look fun. I really love the idea of you like being sold like, hey, $2,000 to advertise on, on your, your channel, right? 4000 if you do it on your podcast as well. And you just don't run it past me. And they're like, yeah. today we're talking about <laughs> Soul Leveling's new video yeah. game. And it's yeah, just like, you just whip out a computer. <laughs> and just like, we're doing a playthrough. Well, like, today we're talking about Solo Leveling Arise. Did you know that it has cross promotion on PC and mobile? And you're mm -hmm. like, Oh, that's sick. Yo, do your blue locks come back? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of blue, <laughs> solo leveling arise. <laughs> like, but, um, it's like the worst guest I've ever had. <laughs> Just like, please. But no, well, the thing is too about like that promotion is that I wouldn't, like I've had games, I've had so many games be like, make a video so promoting many. this. Tons of games. So many games. So many games. So many games, so many games email me and Everybody's our, just trying to get a piece of my time. We relax. I just dragon were, <laughs> dogma just reached out to me with a with a reviewer code. Street Fighter, solo leveling arise. Go on. That's all I know. Actually, yeah, I, <laughs> that's, that's the only ones you ever talked about. Um. Well, Dragon's Dogma just sent me a review copy. Yeah. That like has nothing to do with payment. Mm -hmm. Um. Which I respect a lot more because because they were like, you're gonna do it. Well, the, you're gonna I, do it. Well, that's the thing. It's like. It's so weird that solo leveling was like, they reach out and they're like, oh, you know, here's X money. Talk about our game. Mm -hmm. Like talk about the trailers, react to the trailers, do this and that and this and be positive. And I wouldn't have done it because whenever they're like, be positive, like yeah. that's a requirement. I'm like, fuck you. Like no chance. I wouldn't have done oh, it. I can be bought. I know that's. <laughs> I can be bought. I like simply can't. And I'll give Ants. you, I'll give you an example. I gotta tell you about them. I'll give you an example of proof. I can't be is because I, uh, well, so they reached out and they're like, you have to be positive about it. And I was like, like, fuck you. Tell me to be that. Like be confident enough in your game that you could just be like, react to this and you will probably like it. Mm -hmm. But I looked at the game and I was like, okay, this genuinely does look cool. Yeah. I would have like, I made the assessment that I would have been positive regardless. Is it like a dungeon so crawler, it. single playing game? What is it? It's like, I don't know. Imagine it's like an MMORPG and you're like, well, fuck it, I'm not here. I, here I am not solo leveling. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's like, it's weird. It's a weird mix. Cause I just got like trailers and stuff to respond to yeah. or to react to. You like, you get to play other characters and you, you're like running through the plot of the story. Mm -hmm. But you also get other characters. So it's like storm, but you have side quest missions. No. Okay. It's like, I guess like Genshin a little. Oh. Like a little like that. Like but a gotcha? there's a campaign. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's like, a campaign in Genshin. Maybe it's of. a gotcha. I don't yeah. know what the method of getting the other characters are. Gotcha. But like the, haha. Yeah. But uh, like it looks very fast. The graphics are like awesome for a mm. game that's on PC and mobile. Um, So like I mean, it looks. Genshin is. It, yeah. It, well, exactly. Mobile games have just been blowing me away with the yeah. graphics. But uh, it looks cool, but a, like <laughs> an example of when someone reached out to me and was like, can you react or like do an ad for this? And I looked at it and I was like, this sucks. This mm. is not a good thing. Oh, yeah. I was like, they kept blowing me up. They kept harassing me and says, for this thing that's like, uh, it's called Real Shorts. Okay. And it like has, it's like essentially like an app that has like shows made for the app. Like a streaming service, kind of, but the shows gotcha. are like a minute long each. Interesting. Um, and I looked at the shows, and I'm like... It's kind of like TikTok in China. They have like I, mini C-dramas that are like eight minutes long. Yeah, it's it, very funny. It's like that. And I was like, I was like, these are terrible. But mm -hmm. I was like, but they're so bad, they're funny. Yeah. Like, there's, you know, one of them is like, I shouldn't have married a billionaire or whatever. And it's like a show about like the billionaire being secretive or it's like... 
uh, like lifetime drama nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one about like these people who can turn into wolves, but they live in like it's like furry coated as hell. Danny, are we trying to bring up Wolves Rain again? Is that is that what we're trying to do? No, Wolves Rain is sick. Okay. It's like it's like uh these people like can turn into wolves and they like, you know, live in packs like this girl uh has a dream that she gets her wolf and she wakes up and her brother is like, "Oh, got your wolf last night, did you?" and she's like, "Uh, oh, that keen smell of yours, eh, Alex?" Ew. It's like gross as hell Ew. and he's like he's like the leader of the packs coming tonight. You sure you're going to be cool around him? I know you have a crush." And she's like, "Shut up. Logan Wolf's blood would never with me." And it's like that shit. And so I was like, I was like, "All right, let me try this." Because then I was like, I watch content that's like this crazy Christian propaganda movie is homophobic as hell. And I was like, let me pitch that to them where I'm like, this is the worst shit I've ever seen. seen. (laughs) Check it out. (laughs) And I sent them the script and they sent me like a note back and they're like, it's, it's pronounced real short, not real shorts, but we love it. And I'm like, okay, (laughs) no way. Yeah. Did you go through with it? I'm, I haven't recorded it yet, That's but look so forward to that. That's so fucking funny. But I just want to tell that story as proof that I will either ignore an ad if the product is bad, or I'll be like, let me say this is a bad product. I won't. I will say whatever you want <laughs> yeah, me to, Nicholas so long as the money is correct, I can be purchased. I think that's fine, just as long as it's like... I mean, I... I'm not like that just because I'm not a good enough actor. Oh, like I'm that, a great actor. That was the thing with the solo leveling thing, where I was like... And it, yet, boxing short film. Oh my god! Completely out of it. There was one. There was one ad. I, <laughs> I was so deep in an ad with these <clears> people, <throat> and like I like signed the contract and everything. I forget what the game was called, but they were like, "We want you to react to footage of our game." And I always kind of hate that. I'm like, "Send me the game and like yeah, let me let play, me play it. it." Like here's but, an eight minute. Fo- yeah, yeah. You're just like, okay, it's gonna be way too fast. Yeah. yeah. But they were like, and I looked up trailers for this game. I forget what it was, genuinely. But it was like a samurai game. And I looked up trailers for it. And I was like, oh, these trailers look good. Like, I'll react to this. I can react to it, it in Naraka a way. Naraka Blade Point? No, 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 no. Okay. I wish. I, Naraka is like. It's kind of fun. Naraka's reached out to me. And they were like, what's your price? And I was like, this. And then they ghosted me. And I was like. Yeah. And then I reached back and I was like, I'll do it for free. Though. Naraka lower. looks no, no, really no, no, fun. Lower if you want. <laughs> I was like, Naraka looks sick. Yeah. Please, like, it's, pay it's me. It's kind of fun, yeah. It looks dope. Um. But, like, it was some samurai game, and the trailers looked good. And I was like, yeah, like, I'm not a good enough actor to make a bad game look good, Mm -hmm. and I have integrity. And so I was like, I'll do this because it looks good. And then they sent me the assets, and they looked so bad that I emailed back, and I was like, my father died. I don't think I'll be able to put on a smile. That's so funny. I literally told them. I was like, my dad died. I can't do this. Holy shit. (laughs) Fuck! I wish I, I wish you knew the name of the game. I know I can find it. I'm sure. But I've been like, hit up by I've been hit up by terrible games before. Usually they fall through before I even like get to film it though. They're like, oh, we want you to react to our game, and then it like falls through completely. And I'm like, all right, I guess I, I guess I simply won't. I uh, I just can't do it. I like especially because it's a reaction. Like I can't look at crap mm-hmm. and know because then I have my second gaming channel where I'm want people to think my opinions are good. Yeah. So fair. if the solo leveling game doesn't look at least fun. Yeah. People are going to be like, this dude fucking sucks. But I also make it clear that like, it's a sponsored thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I used it as an excuse I think to you talk have about to, legally. leveling. Yeah. Legally you do. Yeah. But it's just like, yeah. All right. So do we want to get to our looking forward segment mm-hmm. where you and me look at the spring 2024 anime yeah. and tell everybody what we think is going to be worth watching and what isn't. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so if you go to my anime list, if you just literally Google spring 2024 anime, you should also pull this up because we're going to be looking at it together. Um, yes, this is a segment sponsored by both of us being on our phones. So there is a lot coming up this spring season. I'm not going to say that we talk about every single one of these, uh, but I'm saying maybe like the... Christ! Well, yeah, I mean, every season. It's 20. Every, yeah, I was going to say the first 20. Because um, it's the way that my anime list goes, it goes the least popular Like, the one that nobody's looking forward to is on the bottom, and then the one that everyone's looking forward to is on the top. So the first 20 should basically cover everything that we need. Um, Oh, there's movies. There's a bunch of movies coming out. We should also talk about the movies. All right, we'll do the first 20... Uh, we'll do the first 20 anime and then we'll talk about some of the movies. You said I could get to this on my anime list? Uh Uh-huh. How do I do that? Just literally, there's Google Spring 2024 anime, and the first thing will be... Oh, there's actually not that many. 
like we're not going to talk about all these, but there's not that many. There's also some oh. big news coming out, um, like absolutely massive news for like um, O and A's and like movie wise. Yeah. Uh, there's a massive O and A announcement that's not going to mean anything to you. Did to you, me? Yeah, it's not going to mean anything to you, but it's going to mean a lot to people who like to watch big strong men punch each other in anime form. How could there be an Otaku's Anonymous announcement that doesn't mean anything to me? Hey, you, have, you don't watch either of the shows. That's why. Oh, I see. Yeah, we talk about it sometimes, but you don't watch either of the shows. I see. I see. I see. Um, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get right into it. Yeah. So the number one most anticipated anime coming back for spring 2024, yeah. which I fully fucking understand, but I did not think we would see this. I don't is, know what the hell this is. What, are, is this what your screen looks like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Go on. So this is Kono Suba coming back for a new season. This is season three. We've been waiting on season three of the show for fucking years. I think season two might've came out in like 2017 ish. This is the funniest fucking animated television show ever created. And I love it more than most things in life. I have no idea what Konosuba is. So Konosuba is a story. It's, it's an isekai, but yeah. it's an isekai about a kid who basically like sees, he sees a guy like a child in a crosswalk. Uh, and he goes to save the kid from the crosswalk. Who's about to get hit by a truck. Um, and so he like wakes up and he's in the afterlife. Right. Uh, and it's like this, you know, this mystical world where, you know, he's supposed to be like the MC and all that. But then it's revealed that he, the, he, the truck stopped before it hit the kid uh -huh. and he had a heart attack and he pooped himself. Uh, and so, and then like he, he meets this woman, like this kind of God of the, like this, like passing between the universes. Uh, and her name's Aqua and her job is to like help him transition to the next world. And she's like, you can choose one thing to come with you into this next world, to, like help you out to become the hero that you want to be. And he chooses her. But she's incredibly useless. Mm. And so it's like, there's Megami, who is, I have a lot of statues of all of these characters. I like, fucking, yeah. Megami's up there. Yep, I have Megami uh, and Aqua directly next to her. I can't believe um, how many Megumis are in anime. What do you mean? Oh, Megu, it's Megumin. I'm sorry, it's Megumin. <laughs> Meg, yeah, it's Megami, but uh, she oh, she only knows one type of magic, and it's explosion magic. And so I, her whole thing is that she just like makes like nuclear size explosions, but then she she passes out. Uh, and then they have a knight, like their tank, like they look like a party, and their tank is like a masochist. Yeah. So she loves pain, like she loves being hurt. Um, and so it's it's really fucking funny. It's like piss your pants funny. Actually, low key, low key. If I win today's game, that's what you're watching. Konosuba season one. I'm I'm not kidding, Danny. It's one of the funniest shows ever made. Oh, so season three is coming back, which is huge. I'm so fucking excited. I'm gonna have to rewatch season two because I haven't watched it in a long time. Second most anticipated thing, less anticipated than Kono Suba yeah. according to my anime list, which is crazy. Demon Slayer, Hashira training. Arc. Demon Slayer is like on the down spike right now kind of after season three and especially knowing that the next arc is just okay it's fine yeah it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a literal training arc. yeah i mean i'm hyped we didn't rate kona suba i guess you're definitely gonna oh, watch oh, it oh, and i've never heard it's of it strong yeah. agree it's yeah. it's we'll say all right we'll say love it yeah we'll we'll say love it we'll try it skipping it right yeah uh i guess i'll check it out uh yeah demon slayer obviously gonna watch oh yeah um hopefully i'll love it i just love even though season three wasn't like my favorite thing ever. Season three, the way we talk about season three is way too negative. Yeah. I think, I think season three was good. I will admit I was so on the team of like, we don't need Inosuke and Zenitsu. Yeah. I miss them so much. Oh yeah. I like the fact that they're coming back for this arc. Yeah. Is why I'm like, I will just be happy to be with them again. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, we'll I watch. mean, Inosuke is my favorite character. He's like most people's Zenitsu and Inosuke yeah. are most people's favorite characters. Like Deku is a great character, but I just don't think he's like he's just so milk toast. He can't carry the show by himself. Talking about Tanjiro. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Tanjiro. Literally, I thought you were like the same you, character. I thought you were comparing him to mm -hmm. Deku. Like, well, yeah, I mean, you know, Inosuke is no Deku, but yeah, I mean, they are the same character, yeah. but one of them has a sword. Deku's yeah. kind of doing like a character development arc thing right now in I the love, manga, at least. I love Inosuke. My only qualm with yeah. Demon Slayer. And especially Inosuke is that any time because I love Inosuke and I'd love to have tons of like merch mm -hmm. and like statues and shit of Inosuke. Yeah. Do you not believe that I'm on my anime list? I saw you just peer over. I was and look looking at, at my phone. I was looking at the the, I see, the time. OK, yeah. um, but uh, Inosuke is just so visually bland. Yes. In his attacks. Guess, you know, he yeah. doesn't have like an element. He looks his, his breathing. His character design's great. But like he literally all, saws a guy's neck off. He's a what is that? Okay, look. Every statue of Inosuke, every art piece of Inosuke, mm -hmm. all looks 
the same. No, you're right. It's so because like with Rengoku, you can get flame breathing. Yeah, you, know, you get flame breathing. Boy, like he's on top of the train that's exploding. Like mm-hmm. we're talking about Nick statues. There, look, like Majin Vegeta. I can watch. I can see a hundred different Vegeta statues. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed, like at least a third of them are gonna blow me away. Yeah, a Nosuke statues. There's no like. There's, there's such one, little variety. There's one really good one, but it's him standing on a big boar. You know, yeah. that's like, that like that's cool. Yeah, it's just like tough. Like people send me like or when people want to send me art and they're like, who's your favorite anime character? I like half of me wants to say Inosuke, but mm-hmm. the other half of me is like, I want to pick something else because I know this is going to look like all the other Inosuke art that I've received because yeah. there's just it's too hard of a prompt. Mm-hmm. It's um, just because yeah. he's he's got one look. He's got one look and he's got one thing that he does. And that's like yeah. occasionally he like. I mean, heads even off. Zenitsu, I know he only has like one attack, but you can get so creative yeah. with just the fact that he has lightning. Yeah. So and anyway. like, like the lightning raising for his body. Ever really cool yeah. is heading to over in my other office. Uh, after on. that, slime. Dude, this, is, this is crazy to me. Yeah. So slime isekai is coming back. Yeah. Um, so two out of the three are isekais, but two yeah. out of the like, t- these are the two best isekais in in existence right now. Three out of Actually, the four, three out of isekai. four of these are isekais. Holy shit. Dude, people love this fucking slime one. I got to watch this. It's very good. Yeah. It's very good because it also turns the isekai trope on its head. One, because Rimuru is genderless. They can be shipped either way. And they kind of are rather consistently embroiled in like what would seem to be romantic intentions with both genders. Nice. Um, two, it's smarter than your average isekai. Like yeah. it's like, it's one, the political world, but like will political world building is really good. There you go. um, there's a really cool magic system. Uh, there's like a huge, huge world that they're like, they invest in all of these different countries. So you understand the politics of all these individual, like individual countries. And it's like, is Rimuru trying to make a, like a deal or a, like a, like a peace treaty with one of these countries, and then you become familiar with that country. So it's like if, constantly it, expanding world. In terms of that, because that is also the pitch people give mm. from Ashoko Tensei. Yes. It's if Mishoko you, Tensei without the fact that he sexually ask, assaults his 12-year-old cousin. Yeah. If you strip away the fact that Mashoko Tensei is a tough moral watch, yes. how does it compare? It's it's as good. It's, it's as well animated. It's as well voice acted. It's as well built. Um, it's as good as Mashoko Tensei, Without wow. the fucking rape, like, like like without like the weird That's incest hype. rape. Yeah, Maybe I'll check it out then for sure. Yeah. Um. So yeah. it's it's I'm so those are all You're three excited. I'm gonna be watching. Uh, yeah. it's the season three yeah. of Slimy Sky as well. Mashoko so, Tensei part two coming hard, out. Hard hard pass. Hard pass. Hard yeah. pass. Yeah. Um, full skip on that one. Don't even need to talk about it. Yeah. Um, my oh hero. My God, are they coming? So that's what's crazy to me. So is that we're now at my hero? So five entries in. So yeah. the way, like I said, the way that my anime list does it is that like people will say, I'm excited to see this. So for a little reference, Konosuba has 250,000 people who are like, oh, I want to see this. Uh, Demon Slayer is 210,000. Slime Isekai is 180. Mashuka Tensei is 161. My hero. Academia, seventh season, the most important season ever. Like the like the height of the war in My Hero Academia, hundred fifty four thousand people. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, yeah, it's losing steam. I think similar with like Demon Slayer, they're mm-hmm. getting like pushed out by the All newer these gen. new gens. Yeah. yeah, which is like crazy. But it's also they don't need to be. It's not even a matter of like, oh, these other shows are newer. Yeah, they just. Like my hero kind of has been dropping the ball, like production value wise. Last season was definitely the worst it's ever looked, but I'm so like, I guess I am a stickler for animation sometimes, but like, if I love the story, I'm not a stickler for animation. And I never realized the animation was bad in my hero until like I went online and everyone was like, Oh, the animation's way worse. And I'm like, it didn't feel that bad to me. I know it didn't like, I don't know. I re- I remember all of the stuff so fondly, but mm-hmm. I mean the bar's definitely been raised. Where are you? Are you caught up? Or are you? I'm caught up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so I mean, it's what's happening is good. It's way more interesting than season five. I season like, five was really boring. Well, that's the thing is that it was the introduction of the the villains playing yeah. a major role in My Hero Academia that kind of killed it. At least mm-hmm. according to Horikoshi, where he was like, if I had spent like the entire story of just like the kids in the classroom. Then like oh it probably would still be the number one most popular like manga on earth but because he felt the need to like build circumstances like like hey these bad guys are 
going to create, like they're trying to destroy the entire Japan. Like there's going to be a war. You know, that's what he feels like killed his own story. Um, but I still think 150,000 people, like if you're this far in MHA, oh, it's still huge. you're going to watch it, right? Yeah, for sure. It's just, it sucks that all the discourse you ever hear about My Hero is that the manga looks better than the anime. That's all I ever hear. I don't think so. That's all at, anyone talks about I don't think now. so at all. Really? The manga is very pretty at times, but Wait, it's also- you don't think that's the discourse or you don't think- I don't you don't that. I've never heard that discourse. discourse. I've never heard people- That's all I see on like TikTok and Reddit. Is really? like People are like, you know, comparing the screenshots and mm. be like, man, Bones dropped the ball, this and that. I mean, I did. I do think that there has been like a shift in animation because My Hero Academia was like the peak of animation for yeah. a long time. And I think it's just like one advancements from other studios animation wise has like made what was really good animation five, seven years ago now, like, okay animation. Yeah. Like, if it's, like, it's, like, the thing with, like, Baldur's Gate dropping and, like, all the other game yeah. studios being, like, fucking please don't. Yeah. Like, that can't be the standard. And it's, like, it, it has to be. The ball always is going to move forward. Yeah. And I think that's what happened with, like, JJK. And that's what happened with, like, Trigger doing a lot of really good work recently. Uh, Wit always being absolutely incredible. Like, uh, Ufotable putting out things like Fate. Like, the ball is always going to roll towards better. And I think if you don't make that adjustment to make it look as good as other things look, it's gonna be compared yeah. and then it's gonna be compared against its manga the manga is pretty but it's impossible to read when there's a fight yeah yeah impossible yeah. there's no clarity currently deku is doing this thing where he's just like like he's like diving through a bunch of fingers and it's like i have no it's like fucking it's like he's like swimming through debris and i have no idea what's going on i know what's going on but it's just fucking yeah. not great looking yeah yeah that's tough so it's i don't know it's, I mean, we'll watch it oh we'll absolutely excited watch it. for uh, sure after that is a show that you will not know i've never heard of uh this I, is they uh, also don't have them in like the English titles? Yeah, uh, well, they do if you click on it. Um, this show is The Misfit of Demon King Academy 2 Part 2, okay. uh, which is just, it's its a story about a boy who everyone doubts, and then it gets revealed. He goes to this magic school, and because he doesn't look a certain way, everyone's like, oh, he doesn't have any magical power. Then it's revealed that he's the Demon King, and he's the strongest person anybody's ever seen. And mind you, there's 17 women who want his penis in them right. currently. It's just like, it's it's power scaler fetish bait. It's basically just like, oh, like he's as strong as Goku. His heartbeat can kill people. Right, it's right. It's just, it's, it's a power, it's a power fantasy. Sounds boring. It's not great. Yeah. It's just like, it's, if I, like I can't even judge because I I ate that shit up when I was sixteen. Yeah. Like I just I'm too old for it now. Yeah. So like, I can't like I can't look at that and be like, why is this being made? Because like there was a time in my life when I loved the story of like overpowered MC with a harem because I was like emotionally stunted and I didn't right. have a girlfriend. You know yeah, I was yeah. like, this is how I get it. You know. Yeah. Uh. So I'm gonna skip it. No, I'm so sick of like OP protagonists. Like solo leveling is like just barely on the verge of me not liking and it. And that's like, the weakest part about soul leveling yeah, is exactly, the fact that like yeah. Jinwoo's always like, I'm strong enough to get through this. Yeah, you know? It's just like the fact that it's like more entertaining and there's maybe going to be like uh, an exploration of how it affects his like mentality mm -hmm. that keeps me with it. But if yeah. it was just like a steamroll and he's like, like, if it was Sword Art Online, I wouldn't be into it. Yeah, and that is, they're actually doing a much better job with that in this adaptation than they do in the manual because they're building out the story around Jin Woo. Mm -hmm. So it's like in this in the manual, it's just Jin Woo getting stronger and stronger and stronger until eventually he's strong enough that now he can be embroiled in all these grand geopolitical things. But since they're setting those up earlier, like we're now getting attached to other characters. So it's like much better from a storytelling standpoint. Yeah. Um, surprisingly low on this list, coming in at seven, Kaiju number eight. Uh, yeah, that did surprise me. Which I also think is a, another mandatory watch. Yeah. No, for sure. Sorry. Uh, Sarah's guinea pig is dying. We can, <laughs> we can put a, a pot, time no, out. No, I also got... I fucked... Uh, Apple the guinea pig, that's why Apple, it's dying. Yeah. Apple fucked me over mm -hmm. because Sarah goes, Paddington... A uh, oh, quick little heads up. Paddington is absolutely on his way out of this realm. And so I go, oh no, what happened? While looking at you. Uh -huh. And I accidentally type, oh nice, what happened? And she goes, LOL, I know you hate them, but oh, nice is crazy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> uh, she has two of them, right? Yeah, I just got a fucking back up. Yeah, I just got a back up one. So, in hot water a bit. <laughs> but anyway, it is it is crazy. So, uh, it is yikes. crazy that Kaiju number eight is so low. No, mm -hmm. I mean, especially below 
but it's it's a new series. All of these others are established series already. Yeah, these None are of all these, at least yeah. coming back for their third season. So in that's, Kaiju pretty, that's pretty impressive, especially considering under Kaiju number eight is a few other like season two, season fives. Mm-hmm. Um, I am so excited for Kaiju number eight. It looks fantastic. Know, the trailers like, have done a great job of like yeah. showing a, how they're going to do it animation wise and B just like how good it looks. Yeah, no, what, it does look insane. What's insane to me is that I have, Oh God, I, I have like, so I'm going to watch Konosuba demon slayer, slimy Sekai, MHA and this. So that's out the gate. Five animes I'm watching. That's so funny because I really only have Demon Slayer and My Hero. Yeah. I mean, because well, why, you, why would you jump into any of those anime yeah. Yeah, in season You know three? what, though? The one I want to talk about on here the most. And Date I've been Alive dying, 5? What is that? You don't know Date Alive? No, it looks sick. Date Alive? It looks so cool. Date Alive is, oh, uh, God, I, I, oh, man. I've, I've been, like, Google imaging it. I don't want to let you down. Like, what does it suck? It's, Look at no, how cool it's, it no, looks. No, it's really fucking good, All but right. it's also super horny. It is a Fuck. story. It's a story about a boy who basically um, there's these like angels or like there's like these like super powerful women that keep um, coming down to the earth and destroying everything. Uh, and because these women keep coming down to the earth, like they have like earth has no way to deal with them. Oh. So it's revealed that this guy has the ability to, if he dates these women and makes them fall in love with them, oh, you told me about and this. kiss them, he can seal their powers. Oh. And so there's a bunch of really cool fights and they go on a lot of like really cute dates. Like so far as a romance anime goes, like, yes, it's absolutely a harem anime, but it's like, they go on a lot of really cute dates. He does technically go on a date with his sister at one point, uh, and they and boy oh boy does he seal her power. Uh, but 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 there's a girl. There's a uh. girl. There's a girl with a gun, and she's got a clock in her eye, and she was my sexual awakening. God damn it. Um, and the main girl has a big old buster sword and like it you know with any harem anime there's gonna be a best girl right there's a girl yeah. that we're clearly meant to be like oh that's the one for yeah. him they have a cute relationship yeah, yeah i've watched rosario and a vampire yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. rosario plus vampire, plus vampire come on yeah. uh and so it's basically just like two like powerful like sailor girl like a uh, magical girls fighting and then they're like damn we don't know if we can beat her send out the a squad and the a squad is him like taking her to a water park <laughs> so uh if sarah leaves you for yeah. saying that you want her guinea pigs dead yeah. it's a great way to like pad the emotional burden to be yeah alone. it'll be this and like a tub of ice cream yeah oh no it's yeah. and they're on season five there's like four movies yeah clearly a lot of shit I, it looks gorgeous it I, looks low-key stunning <laughs> I might check back in. I, yeah. I think I watched the first three seasons. I think I missed season four. I might, so much. I might check back in. It's kind of a fun watch. <laughs> wow. Maybe I'll check it out because the poster is really selling me and all the Google images I've seen are also it's low key selling me. objectively a fun watch. It is horny though. Yeah, I bet. Here, uh, let's take that break because I'm going to piss my brains out. Go, go. I'll talk to chat. Hi, chat. Danny's saying he's going to go piss his brains out, but he's actually going to go apologize to his girl. Right. Post piss break. Coming back. Democracy. That's what I've been saying. Bloop. Uh, let's only do 10 here because yeah. I only really need to get to Yoru, uh, Yoru camp because that looks kind of awesome. So I was also, I thought this was that one Crunchyroll show that's like camp, maxing out my camping scale in another, another world. world or whatever, so, I can, yeah. I, so I never, ever in a million years would have watched those shows until I watched Delicious in Dungeon religiously this Shut season. Up. The anime, the anime season this season was weak yeah. as fuck don't even first off do you know who animates delicious in dungeon who trigger <laughs> trigger and it like gets into some trigger madness at the end Whoa. and it's really good weird it's really good and they just like just like reveal that like the girl they've been looking for like might be gone forever for uh, like the entire again like, i'm like on an absolute like i'm on my edge for episode <laughs> 12 i'm so excited so Damn. like you you need to understand that like if it's like I'm like so down for cooking anime nowadays. Um, this is apparently Spice and Wolf Merchant meets the Wise Wolf. Yeah, I know nothing about it. I know nothing about this either. They're holding a bag of food. Oh, do they not do synopsis here? No, not all of them do. Sad. Some of them do. But yeah, uh, none of these others really look crazy to me. Uh, oh, Black Butler. This looks kind of cute. I like the spice and I like the look of the Spice and Wolf one. I just have so much going on. Yeah, Black Butler season four is coming out. I'm going to be watching that for sure. The Irregular at Magic High School is getting a third season? 
I don't know what Windbreaker is, but it looks kind of high. We're not blowing past this real quick. What? The, irreg- the irregular at Magic High School is kind of like the Demon School one. It's like the Demon School one, right? Uh-huh. But the difference is, like, it's like, oh, he, you know, he doesn't have magic, and they're all like looking down on him, and I was like, boo, boo, boo. But his magic is guns, <laughs> and so he just runs around and just shoots people. He's super fast. And he's way stronger than everybody else. Sounds like Death the Kid. Kind of, yeah. kind of. But he. It's like he has like an interest in this girl and they hook up in like episode six and he's just got a girlfriend. And it's like, it's so nice because it's like, wow, I don't have to do like the will they won't they's. And it's like, it's yeah. like, a, like a boiled in, it's like horror me. It's like a boiled in romance plot line. And I'm like, I hate romance anime when they're like, oh, uh, will they touch what they want? And then they kiss on like episode 12. I want them to hook up episode two. And then I want to see uh, yeah. how their life is. That's one of, that was my favorite thing about SAO growing up is because Kirito and Asuma, Asuna got together early. And then it's like the rest of the season, it's like they're dating. And I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. Continue this relationship. We don't see a lot of dating in you anime. Don't. It's just sexual tension. Yeah. Yeah. And I want the dating. I could see that. That's I, what I want. I feel like we talked about it before where I was like, be cool if Sanji just like dated Nami. Yeah. Like, and that just, like, see how that develops rather than just thirsting the whole time. Mm, I've heard uh, uh, 1,200 episodes yeah. of just horn. I'm looking up the Windbreaker trailer. What is the wind Windbreaker? I don't know, look up Windbreaker. This looks neat. Which one? Which it's one? by Cloverworks. Why do I know that? Uh, that does sound very familiar. Which one? Give me the Japanese name here. Uh, just look up. It's called Windbreaker in Japanese. It's Wait, hold on up. my anime list. Hold up. Go go, uh, loser ranger. Super low. I wildly low on the list. It's way too low, but it looks like it's being animated by the people who do Kill la Kill. Oh, so crazy. it's Yo Star Pictures. Isn't um, that Trigger? Was Trigger? Yeah. Did that? I mean, yeah. So Kill la Kill Animation Studio was Trigger. Okay, but the way that they set up the um, the like photo looks exactly like Kill La Kill. Like, the animation, the style, and everything looks exactly like Kill La Kill. Even the lettering. Uh, it's Sentai uh, Dai Shikaku. Um, it looks exactly like a Kill La Kill poster. So I don't know why they decided to... I mean, maybe it was they did it on accident. But for those of you who haven't heard of... Um, it's well, so it's either uh, Go Go Loser Ranger called Ranger Rejects. Um, this is essentially the boys meets the Sentai like like theme. So Sentai is like Super Sentai, Power Rangers, um, fucking Moomin Rider, those kinds of things. So this is like the boys were like, oh, there's Power Rangers, but like they're like morally evil. Uh, so I'm going to read you the synopsis synopsis. 13 years ago, the nefarious monster army invaded Earth, but humanity's greatest protectors, the Dragon Keepers, defeated them in a single year. Every Sunday since, the monsters have been forced to act out humiliating defeat after defeat in front of the unsuspecting public. Determined to change this, a single monster, D, infiltrated the ranger force. With the help of the mysterious ranger, uh, Yumeko Suzukiri, D, managed to seize one of the divine artifacts, the weapons capable of permanently killing the monsters of mortal bodies. However, D's subsequent encounter with the Dragon Keepers led to his unfortunate it end so who will stop him now so the entire thing is like yeah like monsters invaded earth and like the 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 power rangers defeated them and now they're being forced into like it's like basically like slave like degeneration type thing and they're trying to battle against the rangers who are like riding off the high of this victory for like decades now so i am so excited for this this is absolutely number one on the list the fact there's only thirty seven thousand people who are looking forward to it breaks my heart i know it's super low which is weird don da don's not even on this oh well i don't know don da don doesn't come out till october that's why um also, oh, Windbreaker. It looks like Tokyo Revengers. Oh my God. Finally, Windbreaker. I'm sorry. Finally, saw- Danny talks about something. I saw Loser Reject Rangers and I want to talk about it. Um, Yeah, I'm excited about Loser Rangers. Uh, Black Butler season four is coming out. That's going to be hype for me specifically. Oh yeah. Um, Windbreaker looks cool visually. And then finally, the only other one. Well, what is, oh God, the Japanese name so long. Yoza, oh, Mission Yozakura Family. Uh, uh, Yozakura san Shino Dai Sasuken. Yeah. Um, oh, mission, I've never heard of this. I don't this know. looks brand new. Yeah. High school cool. student Tayo Asano has been socially inept ever since his family died in a car crash. <laughs> Fucking rough. Uh, the only kid he can properly interact with is his childhood friend, Mutsumi Yuzak- uh, Yuzakura, the head of the world's strongest family of spies. Matsumi's eldest brother, uh, Koyuchiro Yuzakura, has been overprotective of her ever since he once rendered her 
severely injured. His love for Matsumi is lethal, and Taiyo is his next target. To survive, Taiyo must marry Matsumi and become a member of the Yuzakura family. Thrown headfirst in the chaos, Taiyo begins his journey to become a powerful spy in order to protect his wife and uncover the dark secrets of her past in the Yuzakura family. Could be cool. Interesting. It kind of reminds me of this show from way back in the day um, where there was this guy who married this magical girl. Uh, wow, I don't. I could not even tell you what it was called. This was back in the day when I used to just look up top 10 action romance That, that could honestly be the title. Just this guy that marries a magical girl. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. I mean, that might as well have been it. Um, okay, so enough about all those anime. Wait, um, last thing. Okay. A uh, bartender looks like just a sexy bartender going on adventures and that i'm also hyped for purely for financial reasons bartender i think that's kimi no glass yeah kimi no glass sick name glass of god um, bartender glass of god hidden in the back streets of the ginza district is eden hall a lone bar operated by ryu sasakura the prodigy bartender who is said to mix the most incredible cocktails anyone has ever tasted However, not just anyone can find Eden Hall. Rather, it is Eden Hall that must find you. Customers of varying backgrounds, each plagued with their own troubles, wander into this bar. Nevertheless, Ryu always knows the ideal cocktail to console and guide it, each It's like strong. Nanny McPhee if she got you blitzed. You know what it is. <laughs> like, you what? know what it actually it is. What? is Death Parade. I don't know it. You don't know Death Parade? No. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. What you is, haven't seen Death Parade? No, what is Death Parade, and how on earth could that be this? Death Parade is a story about a bartender. It's two people who die, um, get sent down to essentially purgatory, and there's a bar there, and they have to play each other in bar games to see who goes to hell and who goes to heaven. So whoever wins goes to heaven, whoever loses go to hell, but not really. Uh -huh. um, and so the bartender is supposed to be the judge of who goes to hell and who mm. goes to heaven. Um, and so there's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's animated super well. The soundtrack fucks. It is ah oh God! It's that or Konosuba. Now I now if you if you lose, I don't know which to give you for homework Damn. because well, I won't lose. You won't lose. No, I'm not gonna. We won't lose. run into this issue. Uh, uh, bartender yeah. does look cool though. Looks neat. Uh, like I said, that's just one that I'm like, oh, this could be my next skate. The Man, infinity anime posters are so fucking cool. Yeah, it almost got me to watch Data Live Five. Data Live, listen, I fuck another great start. Another yeah. another great one. No, you wouldn't be able to react to it. It's so bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Another another bad cool poster. Bad shows are good. Another cool reacting. poster is Kai to Ultime to uh, Kamikakushi. You're uh, impressing nobody. I speak Japanese. Um, so it's a busty. Oh god. Oh god. Where do you first see? line. First uh, line of the uh, of the synopsis here. Uh, Sumireko Ogawa is a busty bookstore oh, clerk God. who wants to become a novelist after writing some success in her youth. When strange occurrences start cropping up around the city, she teams up with her flirtatious co-worker, Ren Adashino, to look into them. But Ren is hiding a secret of her own. With the combined skills of the occult knowledge, what discover will they investigate? You know what's weird? What discover? That's exactly what it was what written. What will they discover as That's they investigate? That's how it was written. I don't no, know what you wasn't. want. No, You butchered it. Did I? Did what, I fuck it? You said, what discover will they investigate? That's what it says. It says, what will they discover as they investigate? Oh, I fucking, I was, I was trying to get down to this O&A, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get down to these O&As. All right, so the first O&A, the big thing I wanted to talk about that's got announced a couple of days ago, Hanma Baki versus Ken Gunnishura. What is an O&A? I don't know. I don't know how it's different from an OVA, uh, but there's a lot of oh. O&As, and there's no, there's one OVA. I think an O&A is like a mix between I almost the dropped the thing. I see that. <laughs> it scared um, me. So I think an ONA is a mix of two universes, and an OVA is like an extension of one universe. Gotcha. Because an OVA is usually like a like a non-canon extension episode to like clean up the ending of the right. anime. Uh, so this right here is Baki Hanma versus Ken Ganeshara. So uh, Yujiro, no, no, he's the master of the Nico style. I forget what his name is actually though. Uh, but these are the two biggest like MMA style fight like fighting anime out there right now. It's Baki and it's Ken Ganeshara. And they're very different. Like one's about like people being hired by companies to like battle to see who like gets each other's company. It's like all like under dealings between like Procter and Gamble and Hefty or I think Hefty's owned by Procter and Gamble. But anyways, like all of those under dealings are done through like underground fighting. And there's like a huge tournament going on right now in King and Ashura. And then Baki's kind of the same thing, but it's not tied into money. So this entire thing is going to be like a 20, 30 minute episode. Of, uh, it's going to be a whole movie crossover anime movie between Han Mabaki and Kengan Ashura, where wow. I'm assuming the two of them are going to go toe to toe to see what, who wins in a fight. What a fucking phenomenal idea. Oh, right. I can't believe I never thought of 
crossing over these fucking boxing anime. Oh, yeah. What a great idea. Oh, it's a power scaler's wet dream. God, that's awesome. It's kind of, my thing is though, right? It, it's awesome because it works to like, you know, a Naruto One Piece crossover mm -hmm. doesn't make sense because of the fucking world. But like. They just meet for like eating food. It was, yeah. uh, it's, it's this blue haired character that has, but it was like, Oh, the, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I forget um, his name. I also forget, but yeah, I knew his name at one point, but, um, fucking the, like crossovers like that don't work necessarily because the worlds are so weird. Yeah. Like it literally has to be an isekai thing. Yeah. You could like with Baki and whatever the other, Kengan Ashura. Yeah. You could just be like, Okito Oma. Oma, Oma is his name. I forget what I forget what his last name. You is. can literally just be like, "This is happening in Tokyo. like a different country." Like, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah. They're both just Japan. Like, they could literally gym. just they could yeah, just like, bump into each yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, like, but with these kinds of things, you can't have a winner. And that's always I, the that's, that's always the most annoying fucking part. Is like you can't have a winner because then somebody's gonna get upset. Yeah. So they're gonna fight. They're gonna duke it out, and then they're like, "Oh, good fight." And then some bigger bat's gonna show up that they're gonna have I to know. beat. I hate when there's a different villain. Like when a yeah. villain shows up, it's they always do it. Yeah, yeah. It's Batman, versus, Batman versus Superman. It's a King Kong versus Godzilla. Yep. I will say in King Kong versus Godzilla, Godzilla does objectively beat King Kong. Oh, yeah. Which is hype. Mm -hmm. So that's good. As he should. Yeah. Like, as he absolutely should, King Kong wouldn't stand a chance yeah. to get Godzilla. I just, well, everyone's like, oh, he's got thumbs. He can, like, climb up and rip his jaw off. But, like, Have you yeah. seen Godzilla minus one? No. You haven't seen Godzilla minus one? <laughs> no, I haven't. What? I'd like to. Yeah, I want what? to. Even I have. It just blew past me. That's crazy. I know. It's very good. But the Godzilla in that, like he, the fucking his nuclear breath is like ridiculous. Just a menace. Yeah. Oh, it's terrifying. He would yeah. just cut, he would kick, cut King Kong in half. Anyway. So game. everyone's looking forward to that a lot. Um, oh, now mine's dead. What happened? Internal temperature too high. Oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, and then let's talk about movies because there's two big movies. I am officially the biggest Bochi the Rock fan on earth. No. I fucking love it because it's, because it's like anytime there's a slow anime season, I go back and like I watch all the things that get elected for like, um, you know, like anime of the year kind of thing if I haven't seen them. And so is that recording? I don't. Yes. Cool. Uh, and so Boat of the Rock was the one that I missed. And I've loved the music that came out of the Boat of the Rock for a long time, but I never like watched the show. And I'm watching it right now. And it's about, you know, like an antisocial girl who like, like finds friends through music and the music fucking slaps. Yeah. It's just like, it's like J rock. It's like J like girl band rock. It's so good. It's so hype. Ano Banundo, uh, like all these other ones. And you're impressing nobody. I'm so happy about it. And the movie's coming out. Yeah. So there's a so I'm gonna get caught up with the show. Then there's a movie coming out, which I'm absolutely gonna go see. And then outside of that, there's a Blue Lock movie coming out. Yeah, there is. Episode Nagi. I'm very excited about that, and I'm actually caught up on Blue Lock. What do you mean actually caught up? For, like caught there, up. I've been watching an episode. I've been watching two episodes each month for the past year. You've been doing Patreon for Blue Lock? Yeah. Oh my god. Guess what I'm doing now? Uh, it's no. So it's not Madoka Magica. Do you want a hint? Is it Wolves Rain? No. No one who's Sat paying for that. I don't know, people. <laughs> uh, it's got to be popular. It's not. It's JJK. recent. Last year. Last year. Last year. Like was it for its first season last year? I don't know. Out of four seasons, I have no idea. Yes, actually, probably like first it, after Chainsaw Man. Immediately after. In fact, I would argue Chainsaw Man success led to this one's downfall. I don't know. Hell's Paradise. Hell's Paradise. I love it. People are be begging for Hell's Paradise. Yeah. It's I, fun. It was Spy Family. Yep. Um, because I'm not caught up on that. Yeah. Spy Family, Made in Abyss, Dr. Stone, Hell's Paradise. Made in Abyss on that list is crazy. Not even a comment. I get it recommended all the time. Made in Abyss is fucked. That's what I hear. That's what people like. That's why. It's just kid that, torture. But that's it's why fun. Madoka Magica did so well. Because mm -hmm. it's like. Fucked, yeah, but also really good, yeah. And so that's the balance people like. But uh, Hell's Paradise won by a landslide. I can't Crazy. believe. Uh, I mean, it's one of the most I popular think. manga of the last ten years. It's awesome. Oh, it's very. It's good. so fucking good. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe I didn't watch it when it came out. It's just the colors. I think uh, they fucked the color palette. It's a little muted. They made it look a little muted when the island's supposed to be like this vibrant, yeah. like Nirvana esque island, and it's so. It being more muted, I think, is what fucked with me a little bit. I enjoyed it, though. It came out immediately after Chainsaw Man. Yeah. And I think... I need to rewatch it. I think people were like, this is not as good as yeah. that. The first episode was so fine. It's so whatever and yeah. slow. 
but like it's so good. I'm watching a dub. But the dub's really good. I didn't even. Yeah, I I could probably look into the dub yeah. because I watched the sub, but it was fine. But I just like yeah. feel like watching it through and dub will allow me to watch it a faster and b yeah. is like oh new experience. Yeah, it's a second time. Yeah, but it's great. It's awesome. I um, love the manga. Yeah, Blue Lock. I'm excited for. I fucking love Blue Lock. Uh, and that is basically all I see. There's another Gintama movie coming out, but fucking yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. moving more, on to the more game. Gintama, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, so that's gonna bring uh, me and Danny to our game, which this yeah. week is guessing the mangaka by their health condition. And per usual, me and Danny are gonna be having a little bit on the line here. So if I lose, Danny is going to assign me to watch Has Been Hotel, and if Danny loses, I'm gonna choose between Death Parade and Konosuba. Yeah. On the spot, you will? On the spot. Whatever That's okay. Feels, you whatever you feels won't right. have to choose because you're going to lose. I'm going to lose. All yeah, right. Yeah. So me and Danny have 10 uh, excerpts from mangakas talking about their health. And me and Danny are going to read these out. And then we're going to say, <laughs> we're going to both guess what? We're both going to venture our guesses. These are so fucked. Oh, they're very fucked these up. Are so oh, hard. they're very fucked up. Um, So we're both going to venture our guesses out like, on three. And then we're going to click because it's blocked out to see which is what. Like It's like a spoiler blocking. Uh, and we'll see who gets points. And whoever has more points by the end wins. Okay. The first one. My shoulder hurts so bad. With how it's hurting, I'd rather not have a shoulder at all. All right. I have an easy guess here. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Three, Three, two, two one, one Togashi. Oda. Interesting. It's gotta be Togashi, Hunter Hunter. Hirokoshi, My Hero Academia. Motherfucker, really? I'll say right now, there's no like strategy or skill that can help us win um, this. I was because they're makes all because they're all in pain. I yeah. don't even know Horikoshi. I thought Horikoshi just like had to take mental breaks. I didn't know it was his shoulder yeah. as well. This makes sense because my hero is very detailed. I was thinking, what's really detailed? And I'm back on reading One Piece. And uh -huh. I'm like, I could see that killing a shoulder. And gotcha. this dude's been going since the 80s. Mm -hmm. I can see him being like, I don't want the shoulder anymore. Yeah, I want an like, excuse yeah, out. Like when I'm done with it, I'm when he's done with it, just chop it yeah. off. Uh, All right. Um, so he, so it says blank, so blank get gets three, three hours. hours of sleep at night and has to send his blood pressure to a doctor daily stating an ideal blood pressure can't always be applied to everyone. And so there is no problem. I think I know who this is because there's one person who would just chug through this and be like, get fucked. Yeah. This is someone who's like gaslighting their doctor mm -hmm. into being like, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. A normal blood pressure can't be expected from everyone. Yeah. All right. High blood pressure. Uh, Three, two, one. one. Oda. 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 Yeah. Okay. See, that there makes sense to me because Oda would be like, yeah. I, "I'm not doing great. Fuck you." Like yeah. every, like yeah. a lot of other like modern yeah, mangaka. Just would, try and stop one. Yeah, a lot piece. of yeah, exactly. Yeah. A lot of other modern mangaka would probably like, take time away. And Oda's like, yeah. "I only get three hours of sleep. I don't. Uh, my blood's fucked. Get over it." God. All right. The next one. I thought I could finally take a break after, quote, after the series ended, or in parentheses. I'm going to do that again. Okay. I thought I could finally take a break after the series ended, but something was wrong. I went to the hospital where it turned out I had a torn shoulder tendon and such, but I still felt like it was something different, and I just didn't feel right. I spent about half a year of feeling like this without knowing the cause, so I finally realized, oh, I feel lonely. Oh, what a twist. Oh, wow. So it's got to be somebody whose series has ended at some point. I have it. I think I also know who it is. Wow. Brutal quote. I, I, think, I, I think I also know who it is. Because I also know who would say this kind of thing. Three, two, two one. one. Naruto? I was going to say Chainsaw Man. You're thinking Thank Kishimoto? You. I'm yeah, thinking I think um, Kishimoto. Fujimoto. Because this makes me think he came back. Well, but Fujimoto also finished Fire Punch and then, and then started Chainsaw Man. In, and T.T. Kubo. <laughs> Fuck. Who is that? Why bleach. do I know that? Bleach. God Fuck. damn it. Fuck. That, I should have done bleach. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Also something T.T. <laughs> Kubo would say. Kubo. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he pops out. He's yeah. like, hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm here damn. to massage my loneliness. Damn, that makes so much sense. Yep. That's so profound. Well, all right. What is it? One, one. Uh, one, <laughs> like, one. Like yep. this is a game that yep. can be won. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. I relish the joy of being able to sit on the toilet or in the chair. The interesting thing about the body is that it won't poop when you're bedridden. This one's Chainsaw Man, for sure. You think that's Fujimoto? I do. Fuck. Fuck, Just, I shouldn't have given you No, my but no, I was the, 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 the immediately when it was like, you won't poop when you're bedridden. Yeah. I was like, that's Fujimoto. All right. And three, two, one. Togashi. Togashi? Yeah. Remind me who he is. Hunter Hunter. 
and you yacht That's him. not what I would have expected from this guy. No. That's a curveball. And usually he's just complaining about how bad his, his yeah, back Yeah, complain hurts. about your back. Yeah. Wow. What Sad. a baby. Now it's always something new. Oh, just what kidding. else do you have? This generation and their mental <laughs> health <laughs> issues. <laughs> Generation doesn't want to draw manga uh, every wanna, week they forever give us until they die. Four hundred one. I know. God, what a brutal fucked industry. Yeah, I know. it's um, awful. After announce, wait. After oh, oh after announcing, announcing a one month break to the serialization of their manga. So there's a hint. Okay. Even if I say I'm sick, it's not any serious illness. My mental health is completely fine, so I do not want to worry about it. I'm really sorry I'll have to keep you waiting. Once I come back, I'll do my best with the serialization. A one month break? We are we already did my hero, huh? A one month break. Black Clover? They don't do bro- Fuck. We shouldn't be discussing. We, we, yeah, yeah, that's a good that's a good guess. Um a one month break. Did you say that now to fuck me over? I know it's a great <laughs> that's a great guess. Um totally a really good guess. I'm gonna go okay. I think I have something. All right. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Black Toriyama. Gege Akutami. J- JJK? <sighs> Took a sense. one month break? That's what I was thinking. Like, I, he, he takes weeks off all the time. I do not remember a one month break, but I also have only been, I've been up to date with the manga since like chapter 200. So. It's so sad that a lot of these are like trying. I don't know. A lot of these are like, Making excuses why they need a one month break. Like they're so afraid of the backlash. They should be. Which sucks because they should be because it happens. They should be. I know it sucks. It's just like, it sucks that it's like, even if it's not a physical thing, mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of them have to lie and say it is or oh, yeah. push themselves until it is mm-hmm. because fans are such fucking assholes. Oh, yeah. And they're like, where's Black Clover episode this? Dude, like, that's what that's what's happening with Black Clover right now. Like, quarterly, uh, that's when you were like, oh, Black Clover took one month off. And I was like, he was incredibly consistent, like week by week for like 400 weeks. And he was like, Ugh. I need to go quarterly. And everyone was like, well, guess I'm not finishing the story. Yeah. And I was like, his entire family is dying. <laughs> it's like, relax. There's so much content. Mm-hmm. Like, even while we were talking about how much is coming out in spring alone, yeah. you're like, oh, there's five shows I'm excited about. Yeah. Like, relax. There's enough content that people can take breaks. Yeah. Um. All right. It is getting un. It is getting inarguably harder every month to manage my time for the family, work, and myself. As I have started working on a new anime series, my health has been in decline, and I have been thinking about going on a long break for a long time. I might go on vacation soon enough. New anime series. I think I have a guess. Yeah. One, two, three. Kishimata. Chainsaw Man? Murata? Yusuke Murata. Yusuke Murata. Who is that? Uh, he is the creator of... It's not Berserk. I think it is. No, it's not. That's uh, not Miyamoto, because that's Naruto. It's not Yusuke Murata. No, it's One Punch Man. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's, the, he's the animator for One Punch Man. He also does a lot of like other animations. Uh, but yeah, he's the draw. I don't know if Mangaka are on here. Like, I don't know if Berserk will show up on here. You don't think so? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I feel like, no, he took a lot of hiatuses. He took a lot of hiatuses. Uh, next up, we said, I'm sorry to everyone who enjoys Blank. The latest episode scheduled to be announced today has been postponed. My work didn't meet the deadline. I feel embarrassed as a professional. So it's one episode. That one episode bombed. that's been delayed. We had a whole year of that. We had a lot of that. But Gege Eric Tommy was already said. <sighs> and also that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be, see, the, the, what's confusing about this, right? Yeah, is, you, you wouldn't apologize. It'd be one of those quotes that's like, I'm not killing myself, d- wink. Wink, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is also, the work gets postponed because, like a new episode gets postponed because the mangaka was slow? Uh, latest episode scheduled to be announced today has been postponed. I think I gotta go with I think I gotta go with. All right, I think I think uh, I have one here. One, two, two three. three. Black Clover. One hundred. Vinland Saga. That makes Whoa. sense. A lot of hiatuses. A lot What's of hiatuses. There? Interesting. Makoto Yukimura. I did not know that. I wonder why it'd be his fault. Because the the like the anime and the manga are like kind of no like we're still pretty far away from yeah. where the manga is, but I don't know. 
Uh, I've developed complications in my body due to stress. I was scared at first, but after seeing all the symptoms show up on every few months, I resigned myself to the fact that this is uh, the kind of body I had. The most striking part to me was that I lost my sense of taste. No matter what I taste, everything would taste the same. Dude, whatever this show is, wrap it up. Yeah, like, like, this like, guy, yeah he's like, my body is falling apart. You're working so hard, you can't taste anymore. Yeah. Like, fucking, it's not worth it. Yeah. Also, it's kind of like, sounds like Sarah's guinea pig. Am I right? <laughs> just not working anymore. Wrap it up. This is a really this is long, a tasteful this podcast. This is a really too. long, like, blanked out one here. I don't even know if I have a. Yeah, true. Oh, interesting. I don't even know if I have one here. Also, these last couple ones, I haven't known the people. Yeah, I guess. Who can't taste anymore? I, I. This is like really going through it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go oh, three, yeah. two, one. Hunter, Hunter. Kishimoto. Oh, Tokyo so, Ghoul, what? The experience, experience gave, gave him the, the ideas. Idea. Oh, wait. This experience gave him the ideas for ghouls not being able to taste. That's crazy. It's an unwinnable game. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, last, second to last one. Or wait, no. No. Okay. So, second yeah. to last one. Most mangaka suffer from tendonitis, but not me. No doubt, thanks to the way I hold my pencil. On the other hand, since I don't lean too much uh, to draw, I suffer from terrible back pain. I use bands to straighten me out. Jesus Christ. I feel like, <laughs> God damn it, yeah. that's the one I would have said Togashi for. I feel like there's not any double entries here, right? I mean, we already had Togashi. Know. We already Togashi talking about how much he poops, <laughs> right? We yeah, we talk about his yeah, um, like can't poop when you're bedridden. All right, ready? Uh, fucking hardly, but uh, I guess yeah. All right, three, two, one. Hayao Miyazaki. Oriyama. Fuck, it's Hashime Isigama. It's AOT. I don't, like. I'm not even close to any of these. No, I just there's I'm no just, way. I'm to just be. guessing because they haven't shown up yet. Yeah. God, damn there's it. no way to be. This is brutal. All right, hold up. This one I think I might get. This one I might get. Yeah. All right. Uh, blank schedule when drawing manga. 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. working. 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. sleeping. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. working. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. lunch. 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. working. 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. dinner plus bathing. This is absolutely brutal. That's ridiculous. It's three hours of sleep. <sighs> drawing manga. Yeah. When drawing manga. I have one. This is the tiebreaker, if I get it, too. Three, two, one, Miyazaki. I just don't have anything. Kishimoto. Fuck! Fuck. I almost did Kishimoto. Me! I was like, this should be Oda. There's no way this isn't Oda. What do we do? We each have one. It will benefit the pod, I think, if you do Has Been Hotel. I think, but I can't be certain. But it is gigantic. What do you mean it's gigantic? It's gigantic. It's a gigantic show. Like there's a lot to watch. No, there's eight episodes. But it's like an hour long, like eight hours. Half hour. It's it's so short. I mean, it's popular. I just don't want to. I feel like rock paper scissors. Sure. Rock, Best paper, two out scissors. of three. Best two out of two out of three. Yeah, ready. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Or, rock, we both wait, tied on. Yeah, we, we both tied. <laughs> we both tied on scissors. <laughs> 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 All right. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Bolt tight on paper. <gasps> rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Nice! I went rocky, you went scissors. All right. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. You, we uh, both tied on scissors. Yeah, we tied on scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Fuck! I got paper, he got rock! God damn it. Oh. It's down to the wire here. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck! I got paper, baby! Fuck! Has hotel. God damn it. I'm gonna throw up. Let's wrap this <laughs> shit up. All right, flashback. Yeah, uh, news. There is a Dragon Ball Z theme park, or I guess Dragon Ball theme park, being erected, and can you guess where? Kobe? Where is that? It's in Japan. Nope. The Dragon Ball capital of the world. Washington, D.C. Saudi Arabia, baby. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. The world's first and only <laughs> Dragon Ball theme park, Saudi Arabia. Let's I'm not, go. I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. Let's get it, baby. Oh, the they boys trip to Dubai? They released a... Uh, they just be... They're just doing shit over there. They're just doing they're shit. They're just doing shit They over released there. a trailer for it. Uh -huh. And they're like, a theme park unlike any you've ever seen. And it's all CGI. What does this theme park look like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo, it's not built yet, so... <laughs> I, but, like, I don't know, build it first. Why are you advertising this thing that's not built? That's fair. I'm like, what am I going to buy tickets four years in advance? Yeah. What, yeah. what am I, like, getting hyped about a fucking amusement <laughs> oh, 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 park that oh, doesn't let me, exist? Let me buy tickets for 2029. I fucking, know. Who knows, like, what happened to Dubai in it, the next five years? It just looks utterly fucking nonsense. Yeah. Like, because it's, like, an entire city and also Kami Tower is, like, the main attraction. And I'm like, what part of this is actually getting built? Yeah. 
They also, there was like a, like a year ago, they announced like uh, they're building like this building that's like, oh, uh, look, they're calling it like the wall or something. And it's like a mega structure oh, that's like a that. hundred yeah. miles. They just yeah. be fucking announcing shit over there. Yeah. And like, I was just, when it's yeah, built, du I'll see it. Dubai was like, we're building a building that can hold a billion people. Yeah, and and like, you're like, what? All right. I don't think we need that. So yeah, when <laughs> yeah, it's when, fucking when built. When do they shoot that into space? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah whatever. Just yeah. one day yeah, rockets. Yeah, generation, uh, yeah. generation <laughs> ship. See you later. Uh, my flashback is that Apothecary Diaries is getting season two in 2025. Do you care? It's good. It's, it's, it's for the girls you watch of the gays. It? For the girls of the gays. Did you watch it? No. No. But they'll enjoy Freeran's it. also getting a season that two. That I knew already. That yeah. I did watch. That's nice. very good. But Apothecary Diary. Enjoy. Very cool. Do you have a best boy? I do have a best boy. You want to know my best boy? Yeah. Danny's loose pants. Today? Danny changed up his style, ladies and gentlemen. Danny spent how long have you been in L.A.? Uh, a year and a half. Took about Danny a year and a half for LA to seep into him, but Danny is now officially, I'd say about 40% wow. of the way down his road to becoming an LA socialite because he is wearing loose cargo pants today, wow. ladies and gentlemen. So I'm having the most, oh, he noticed moment, right? Yes, now. I am. Because I bought these pants yesterday. Uh huh. Uh, they're not cargo pants. Well, they got pockets on the side. They got they got pockets on the side. That's sure. that's uh, congratulations. That's they're cargo. Like green. They're like olivey. Yeah. Uh, and I put them on, and I was like, he won't notice. Mm -hmm. But I've been you know frequenting I, cotton on, and I love it. You know what I didn't notice? What fruits in your sleeves? You know what I didn't notice? <laughs> yeah, Stylistic sure. upgrades. I forgot. I was driving like to the pod one day. Like I think it was our first pod post your break in Europe. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I used to do bits. Yeah, like completely forgot that I used to do that. So mm -hmm. I got to bring those back. Uh, this is you, this is your best bit yet. Yeah, I love that your balls are breathing. That's a great bit. It's nice. They, oh, they feel and look good. Is it not incredible? I'm kind of dressed like Kim Possible right now. I, I frequently find myself in that exact situation. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I nice. own two pairs of green cargo pants, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> whoopsie, Kim Possible. Yeah. Uh, my best boy is a manga called No Gun Life. Do you know it? Nope. Look it up. No gun right life. No gun life. I feel like this is. Look it up on Google Images and then describe what you see. I feel like this is what Republicans think like Hillary Clinton being president would be like. Uh, that's that. That is it. OK, is this describe Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? I'm seeing a boy, um, huh? a boy who has what appears to be a stand and that stands. Oh, OK. No. All right. So I got the one. The only one with pictures of humans but there's the cover for episode one or like chapter one appears to be what appears to be a Warframe, but instead of a regular helmet, it's a revolver uh, for a face, great chin, and also gun hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll tag in here. It's a man with a gun for a face mm -hmm. and also guns for hands. And he is like a noir detective in the future in which like, you know, body modifications yeah. have become like normal. And he, I guess, was like like a like a weapon soldier, like a like a war slave. Yeah. Who was turned into this as a result of a war. There's an anime. There is an anime. I read the first volume of the manga was sent to me by a viewer. OK. And it is not good, uh, but in concept it's really funny, and I love the design of the guy. Wait, 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 wait. I think, no, no, no. Didn't something like this get in anime, and you watched the first episode, and you hated it? What was that thing where you were, like, super hyped? You were super hyped for this anime that came out, and you're like, oh, the animation was really bad. What was that? The Witch and the Beast one? Was, I think it yeah. might have been something like That's that. That's not this. I'm going to be real with you. Yeah. This art style looks sick as Bonk. The art's so good. He's a big revolver that smokes cigarettes. Yeah. Like, it's so cool. The manga's art is amazing. It's really good. The writing is so nothing to remember. Gotcha. Um, what's really funny is he's got a big revolver trigger on the back of his head. And it's like, he keeps Seems being like, like the wrong place. He keeps being like, like at one point, somebody like grabs it and they're like, ha, we know this is your weakness. Like they're treating it like a Saiyan's tail. Yeah. And he like rips them off of him. And he's like constantly like, Nobody touches my trigger. No, nobody touches it. You don't yeah. want to see me blow. Yeah, so we haven't seen him get his trigger pulled. Uh, the art style, like for the cover arts, it's just like a bunch of like scantily clad women with like like gun arms and it's, it's doing something for me in it's a big a bit way. Of that. It's for sure a bit of that. It's definitely doing something for me. This but, looks kind of fucking metal. It's so cool. It's so like Chainsaw Man before Chainsaw Man. Uh, apparently it got two seasons. 
Wow. No Guns Life, complete season two. Yeah, it's a TV show that started in 2019, and apparently it's wow. still coming out. Wow. Maybe we watch that. Yeah, maybe. That's so Fuck, recent. wait, I have to watch Hasbin Hotel. Yeah, you do. God damn it. I gotta watch one of these, like, boxing anime you're always talking about, too. I would recommend Kangan Ashura. It's better. Okay. Uh, all right. Outside of that, um, that's it. Oh, no. Now this is the part of the show where me and Danny uh, poll our live audience for a love letter, which is the part of the show where a person watching our show gets to ask us a question, and we answer it live. So... If you guys ever want to be a part of something like that, please become a member over on YouTube members or Patreon. doesn't really matter either way. And not only will you get to watch the show live, but you will also get two additional hours of me and Danny a month. And we're actually going to be doubling that this month because me and Danny missed it last month, which means we're doing two two-hour episodes as opposed to two one-hour episodes. So if you want to meet, if you want to watch me and Danny, if kill, you want to meet us, if you want to, yeah, if you want to meet us, well, come to Comic Palooza, which is another great plug. <laughs> but also, if you want more of me and Danny time uh, and you want to watch us stomp some bugs uh, that's what we're doing this month we're doing a lot of hell divers so yeah Sorry, Danny I'm trying to like buy Kengen Shura manga now because you got me wanting to get into this just watch it I know the manga looks cool and manga the is cool. show looks ugly it's CGI but it's like it's like B-Stars level CGI it's like yeah. ridiculously impressive CGI. it helps that they're animals though with B-Stars I, I think like that's why it works it for straight me. up doesn't I hate CGI Kengan Ashura I do not mind at all okay. it's like uh, on this it's on par with um uh what was uh fucking Vash uh Trigon Trigon, Trigon Stampede so Stank asks, in light of the Maharaga extended cut, which other fight from JJK season two do you wish got the extension treatment? So I feel like a lot of the fights in the, like, the Shibuya incident were sufficiently long. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like if we were going to get one thing that was extended, like I, I could say like Chozo versus Kenjaku and Ken, like, Chozo shooting all the blood at like Kenjaku while he's flying around. Yeah. I thought that was a cool moment. But really, if I was like, oh, in all of season two, one fight that could be extended, Gojo versus Toji. Yeah, yeah, that's Gojo fair. Gojo versus Toji is a couple of really cool moments, but it's kind of a disjointed thing, right? Yeah. Because it's like, there's the big blue that sweeps everything yeah. up, and then, like, Toji appears behind him and stabs him, and then yeah. he's down. And then, like, later on in the fight, it's just, like, the honored one pose, and then Toji can't reflect a purple. Yeah, I feel that. The only way you could really extend it, though, because it's not long in the manga, is, like, you'd have to take a ton of artistic, like, you'd yeah. have to go super artsy with it. You're just like, this is an entirely new representation of what the fight is. Yeah. But the problem with that is, if you make that fight longer, if you make Gojo, like, stand a chance against Toji the first time. It removes the point. Exactly. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, Gojo now stood a better chance against Toji. It doesn't show his intellect and how well he planned for that fight. So, like, I'm like, oh, I would love to see Gojo and Toji go at it pre-Gojo's awakening yeah. longer, but at the same time, I feel like it takes away from the point of that fight. You know, it's a fight that was long enough but i wasn't satisfied with okay i would love a reworking of megumi versus tojo toji, i didn't like yeah. that fight of toji yeah. yeah i don't like that fight that much i loved that fight I, him poking all the rabbits new way like nuking an yeah. entire floor and toji jumping out i don't know for some reason it's just like those are two of my favorite characters yeah. of the show and i was like oh fuck they're going up against each other and it not being in the top 10 of the season's fights, mm -hmm. or like not top five yeah. uh, of the season's fights, lets me down. I also feel like I could probably go with Yuji versus Mahito. Like, yeah. I understand that Yuji versus Mahito was like two full episodes, but a lot of it is like Mahito like building giant fleshy walls and those yeah. kinds of things. And I think the strongest moments of those fights are times where like either Mahito is in his perfect form, he's beating Yuji down, or when Yuji has Mahito up against the wall and yeah. he's just absolutely blitzing him, all of which was animated by one 16 year old, yeah. mind it's you. It's tough because Yuji has so, like, just doesn't have any interesting powers. No, he's got his like delayed punch and that's it. Yeah, so you put him up against someone who's interesting and yeah. it just has to be him dodging the interesting shit that's the whereas thing. like you put the chozo yuji fight works because he traps chozo in a fucking bathroom yeah. and it's just a beat down yeah it's, it's literally just an just irish brawl yeah. yeah but like you put chozo up against like megumi now you have like, an interesting fight yeah like power versus power that's fair Cool. That's all we got, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much Woo. for watching another episode of Talkers Anonymous. We appreciate you guys being here. We appreciate you guys getting us to the second biggest anime podcast on Earth. And yes, we are currently in talks with a certain orange anime provider to possibly become the official sponsor of the podcast. I've been working in silence in the background. Um, can you take a guess? Naruto. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Naruto is who it is. Uh, make sure you guys, if you want to come see me and Danny uh, live and in person, Comic Palooza in Houston, May 24th to the 26th. 
We're going to be plugging it every episode up until we get to there uh, because we want you guys there. We don't want to be giving panels to empty rooms. That's a bit weird. And me and Danny are going to be three panels together and then three panels individually. So if you want to see Danny react to something or me talk about Naruto or Hunter Hunter or how to be a successful YouTuber, please come on down to Houston. We'd love to see you guys there. We'll be hanging out the entire time. Um, we're not weird. We like to see, like spend time with our fans and all that. So if you guys want to, you know, get a bite with us, something like that, we'd be more than down. But I've been NC Hammer 20. Three, also known as the Weeb Commander. I've been Danny Mata. Just Danny Mata. Just Danny Mata. Just him. Cool. And I'm just him. And we appreciate you guys so much. And Ooh. we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.